If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. On year 737, a Saiyan was born with a very special power level, but his power level is at 5, but to those who can sense divine energy, Goku was born with a very high power, as no one could sense him due to the fact none of them had God Ki. His Saiyan name was Kakarot. When Goku was born, he was a laughing stock at his power level since they had no idea what he's actually capable of and they couldn't sense his real power. Before Goku's birth, one fateful day, Beerus came to Planet Vegeta and he didn't like King Vegeta's attitude and so he decided to go and destroy Planet Vegeta. But before doing so, he went to Frieza and he told him, Listen here Frieza, I'm gonna go to sleep but before I wake up, I better see Planet Vegeta be destroyed. If you fail to do so Frieza, I will erase you. Uh, yes Lord Beerus, I'll do as you say. As Beerus went right back to his planet and from there his oracle fish came towards him and told him that soon he is going to fight a foe that is far stronger than anything he has ever faced before. Beerus was very curious to find out who that fighter is as he was excited to know and from there he went to sleep. Back on planet Vegeta, Frieza made his way there so that he can complete the job that Beerus asked him to do so, that is to destroy the planet. Bardock has also come back from his mission as he saw that Frieza's men were outside planet Vegeta and his guts told him that Frieza came to destroy the planet. Once when Bardock got home, he decided to go and fight Frieza off so he can try to save his planet. Frieza got out of his spaceship as he went and he powered up an attack to throw it towards the planet. Goku was in Bardock's arm as he opened his eyes and he saw what happened and from there Goku got angry as his eyes started to glow and he went completely red. Goku then went and threw an attack towards Frieza's attack as his power got clashed with Frieza's attack and from there he managed to disperse his attack. Frieza was completely speechless on seeing this. While everything was happening, Vegeta saw that this was his cue as him Nappa Raditz decide to go and escape on a space pod so they can regroup and plan on killing Frieza since they knew that it is inevitable to fight him right now. Upon seeing Goku's power, Bardock realized that if there's anyone that can kill Frieza, it is Goku. As he saw that Goku was completely fatigued and from there, Gine suggested him to go and send Goku to a planet that is peaceful so that Goku can grow up to be a proper Saiyan and avenge all the Saiyans. Bardock then went and got Goku into his space pod and sent him away. While he flew towards Frieza, tried to hold him off. Frieza went and he powered up a blast to throw it towards Bardock as it killed him and from there the blast went and destroyed planet Vegeta once and for all. The shockwave was very huge as it got Goku's space pod to rumble and from there it went and changed his course as he flew towards self. While Vegeta and the rest of the Saiyans managed to go and escape on their space pod and they made plans to regroup and kill Frieza when the time is right. Frieza was surprised to see that one Saiyan was powerful enough to go and disperse his attack as he got worried and from there he decided to go and take domestic measure as his men told him that some of the space pod from planet Vegeta escaped the planet before the blast. Frieza's main goal was to go and find those space pod and finish the job so that he can be the ruler of the universe. Goku's space pod began to not work as it was going with pressure and before you know it, Goku has crashed onto another spaceship which happened to come in his way while Goku's space pod was making his course. Once when he crash landed, Goku came out of his space pod as he hit his head really hard and he passed out. And from there he realized that he crash landed onto a spaceship that belongs to one of the galactic patrol officer and that was no one other than Miris. Miris saw him as he was completely confused and he said, uh, What? What is a Saiyan doing here on my ship? Huh, this Saiyan is completely different. He has God Key. Due to Goku's impact on his crash, it was big enough to go and hurt his head as he fell to a coma but from there Miris went and he summoned his staff as he shined it on Goku and from there Goku woke up from his coma. Miris then went and picked Goku up and he took him towards Beerus planet. Upon his arrival, Wee was there doing some work as we saw Miris and from there, Miris went and showed Wee's Goku and said, Look master, this Saiyan has arrived on my spaceship. 
and he also possesses God Key. Hmm, very interesting. I never thought I would see a Saiyan having divine power like that. That's because that's the Saiyan I predicted. Now fight Lord Beerus. Hmm, his name's supposed to be Goku, but I guess his Saiyan name is Kakarot. I see. So that's what this Saiyan is. I think he likes the name Goku better. That suits him. I know, Master, let me take care of him. After all, he landed on my spaceship. I feel like I should be responsible to look after this Saiyan that possesses divine power. I'll help him utilize that power and he could be part of the Galactic Patrol. I was just about to ask you to do that myself, Miris. After all, this Saiyan has come to you. Show him the way of his power and help him to be the best warrior for your Galactic Patrol. And while he's at it, make sure you come to see me. I would like to know more about this Saiyan. And when the time is right, we will send him back to his planet that he was destined to go to. Planet Earth, I believe. You got it, Master. I'll do everything I can to make sure this Saiyan will know how to use his power. As Mir said his goodbye to Whis, and from there he went and took Goku and went right back to his world where all the Galactic Patrol officers were. Everyone was confused on seeing this Saiyan, but Miris told him that this Saiyan will be part of the Galactic Patrol as he showed the Galactic Patrol King and from there he has welcomed M Goku to the family. And now Goku has become one of them as Miris was responsible to raise him. 11 years has passed as Goku grew up to be an 11 year old boy. During his 11 years, Goku was growing up as he went to a lot of missions with Jocko and doing other stuff with Miris and training with him. One day, Mirrors looked at Goku and said, Goku, it is time. I want to show you my master. Huh? Your master? Yep. He will educate you on everything you need to know about yourself, and I believe today is the best day for you to see him. And who knows, you might be lucky to get some training session from him, and we can continue to grow stronger together. Alright, I love that idea. As Mirrors left with Goku, and he took him back to Beerus' world. Upon his arrival, Whis was there. As he saw Mirrors brought Goku and from there Whis told Goku, Listen here young Saiyan, if you want to learn everything about yourself and about your power, I'm gonna need you to go and do a lot of chores here, and then I'll educate you. Uh, okay, and my name's Goku, not, I'm not a Saiyan. <laughs> you have a lot to learn Goku. As Goku went and did all the chores that Whis told him to do so, and from there he went and started to educate Goku on who he is as he said. You're not an ordinary Saiyan, Goku. You're a Saiyan that's blessed to have divine power, known as God Ki. And because of that, no one except for deities like ourselves can sense your power. And the best part is, Goku, the more you train, the more power you'll be, and the more stronger you'll get. Wow! I'm still confused though. This is so much to take in. <laughs> I don't blame you, Goku. But it is what it is. Whis then told Goku about the destroyers and then the angels as he was completely stung to hear that Whis and Miris were angel this whole time. From there Whis said, now that you know everything about yourself Goku, I say it is the right time to kick up your training and get Miris to train you even harder. I want Miris to not pull any punches. You ready Goku? We can train for the next few years to get you much stronger. Yes, I'm ready, let's do this then. As they spent about 7 more years training together, Mirrors didn't hold anything back as he put Goku to near death experience and he didn't hold anything back. Each time Goku was at near death, he recovered and he got a huge Zenkai boost and he went right back at it with Mirrors training to get even stronger. As 7 years has passed and now Goku has grown to be an 18 year old man, Goku managed to do most of his training during his time but now it was time for Goku to go and embark on a new adventure as his training with Mirrors has come to an end and from there Whis came to Goku and said, you have grown so much Goku, I'm really impressed, one day I will train you myself but now it is time for you to go and complete one more task. Thank you so much Whis and of course I'll do the task, what is it? Well Goku. Apparently, the planet that you're supposed to be sent to will meet its fate very soon. I would like for you to go there and protect that planet as I have been told that that's where your adventures will begin soon, Goku. You got it, Whis. I'll do whatever it takes to save that planet from any harm and make it my own. Well, guys, 
I guess it's time I shall go now, shall we, Miris? And also, Weez, I'm looking forward towards our training. You got it, Goku. Miris went and he took Goku to planet Earth. Once when he got there, he then looked at him and said, Goku, I'm going to miss you a lot. We have been through so much. To think you're the same baby that landed on my spaceship. I kind of raised you like my own. And one thing that got me very found towards you, Goku, is that you and I are completely alike. The love we share for this universe is the same. I know you'll be the best protector for this universe, Goku. I raised you to be a very strong man. I'm going to miss you too, Miris. You're more like a father to me I have ever had before. Thank you very much for raising me. And because of you, I am the man I am today. I promise, Miris, I won't let you down. Never forget who you are, Goku. As of today, I'm going to release you from the Galactic Patrol. And now you'll be the hero that you're destined to be. Miris left. As he said his goodbye, and from there, Goku saw Kami's lookout was right next to them. From there, he went there as he saw that Kami came out and he introduced himself and told Goku that he is the Guardian of Earth. Hearing that, Goku wanted to know some insight about planet Earth as he asked Kami to tell him everything there is to know about planet Earth. Kami then told him as he looked towards Goku and said, Young man, tell me one thing. Why do I sense your power like this? Like if you're some deity. Oh, <laughs> that's because I'm a Saiyan that's born with divine power. And now my mission is to protect this planet no matter what, I'll be its protector. My word, that's amazing to hear that. And since you're talking about that, there is one thing I'd like you to know about this planet, Goku. There is one threat. It is called the Red Ribbon Army. As Kami told Goku everything he needs to know about the Red Ribbon Army. From there, Goku set a course to the Red Ribbon Army's base. As he got there and he went and disbanded them. Goku then came back to the lookout. As Kami was very impressed with Goku and from there he looked towards Goku and said, Goku, there's something I need to tell you. It is about my second half. His name is Piccolo. Kami told Goku everything he needed to know about the evil demon king Piccolo. From there, Goku told Kami that he will go and handle the situation. But before going, Kami said, One thing, Goku. I forgot to remind you, but if King Piccolo dies, I will die too since we're Link. What? I wish you told me this before. Okay, I guess I'll have to go and try to make him reason for his mistakes. As Goku went and used his senses and he sensed where Piccolo was. From there, he went and he flew towards him, but he also sensed that some of the fighters were also there fighting with Piccolo. While Goku was making his way towards King Piccolo, Piccolo's man managed to go and gather all the seven star Dragon Balls. But while trying to get the last star Dragon Ball, Piccolo had to go and fight with some people. As they came to stop them and they were Master Roshi, Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha. Piccolo then went and he summoned the dragon as it came out and from there he went and he wished to be younger again. He then got his youth back while he was too busy celebrating. Krillin went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave to throw it towards him and before he can hit Piccolo with the wave, Master Roshi came and he did the same as both of their Kamehameha wave got combined and it became one attack and it went and hit Piccolo. But from there he went and managed to go and cast a blast and he dispersed it as he looked towards them and said, <laughs> You guys are really stupid. Did you think you could actually hurt me with such a weakling attack? Piccolo then went and powered up a blast from his mouth as he released it and it went and hit Krillin and he died right there. Reinforcements has come to help Master Roshi, Tien, and Krillin as it was Chi Chi and her father, Ox King. Tien saw that he had no choice and therefore he went and he used his tri beam attack. Before he can power it up, Piccolo went and he powered up a blast to throw it towards Master Roshi and Chi Chi. As he went and threw the blast and before it can hit them, Goku has arrived to the battlefield. As he went and he caught the blast and he dispersed it with just one hand. Piccolo saw that and said, Huh? Who are you? And how did you stop my attack at such close range? Answer me! Your time is coming to an end, Piccolo. I'll make sure you don't hurt any other soul. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I'll kill you! Piccolo went and he rushed towards Goku and started to attack him, but he couldn't even touch him 
as Goku kept dodging all of his attack and from there he went and caught his fist and he began to squeeze it. Piccolo was in severe pain as he couldn't handle what Goku was doing and from there Goku went and kicked him in his face causing him to be sent flying meters away. He then went and got crashed towards the rock and he passed out. Goku went towards Piccolo as he came right over him and from there Piccolo got up as he opened his eyes and he saw that Goku was standing over him. From there Goku looked towards him and said, If I were you I'll give up. Stop trying to fight you know you don't stand any chance against me. Before Goku could say another word, Piccolo powered up a blast from his mouth and threw it towards Goku. But Goku dodged it and from there he went and picked Piccolo up and threw him in the air. Piccolo fell but he got up and he started to go and power up a massive attack to kill Goku and everyone that was there. Goku then went and fly towards Piccolo as he decked him right in his stomach but it was hard enough to go and pierce through his entire stomach as he couldn't heal himself and from there he was about to die. But before he can, Piccolo went and he spat out an egg towards the west and from there he has died. Kami has appeared with the egg as he managed to go and catch it while Piccolo did that. Goku got worried at first but when he saw that Piccolo died, he saw that Kami came too and he was relieved to see that Kami was still alive as Kami told him that the egg that Piccolo spat out was himself and that he'll be reincarnated very soon but he'll make sure to take care of that egg so that it doesn't turn out to be evil. Kami then went and introduced Goku to all the Z fighters that were there as they were very impressed with Goku's power. Everyone then went and welcomed Goku to their world and, and offered him their friendship. They then made a plan that within one year when the Dragon Balls come back they're going to use it and resurrect Krillin. Meanwhile Ox King really liked Goku along with Master Roshi and Chi Chi as he offered Goku a place to stay with him in their home. Goku accepted the offer and they all went towards Boma's house since Yamcha was still dating her. They have arrived to Boma's house as they all began to have a feast and they were celebrating and they were very impressed with Goku's new power. After they finished the celebration, they all decided to part ways as Goku went home with Ox King and Chi Chi and from there one year has passed but they went and used the Dragon Balls and they resurrected Krillin and little did you know, 4 years has passed while all that was happening far in the galaxy. Vegeta and the remaining Saiyans were on a remote planet. They were trying to hide from Frieza until they're able to get more reinforcements to join their side so they can help them go and take Frieza down. Turns out Frieza has gone ever since the destruction of planet Vegeta until one day Vegeta and the rest of the Saiyans went and they tried to attack Frieza. 10 years after the destruction of planet Vegeta but they failed due to the fact that Frieza managed to go and almost killed him with his new power. They then retreated and begun to plan their next move. Well what now? What do we do Vegeta? Now that we have Broly in our side, he's our trump card. Frieza's been missing but I can still feel we're not close to his power level. I don't know. Frieza, his new power is incredible. Not even probably Broly could stop him. Well to be fair, I did drop my guard for the moment and he struck me right there. Raditz, don't you have a brother that was sent to another planet? Oh yeah, how can I forget? His name is Kakarot. He was supposed to be sent to a planet called planet Earth, but he's born as a weakling. Well, at the end of the day he's still a Saiyan. He could be a help to us to beat Frieza. I want you and Nappa to go to wherever planet Kakarot was sent to. I believe it was planet Earth, right? Try to get Kakarot to join us. Broly and I will follow. If we refuse, we will simply just kill him. Sounds good. Nappa and I will get a head start and we'll make our way towards planet Earth. As they all went and set a course towards planet Earth and now they have left. It took them one year to get to planet Earth. As another year has passed and now one and a half year has passed since they were making their way towards planet Earth. While all that was happening, within those five years, Goku and Chi Chi got married as they were spending their time together and enjoying their marriage life until Chi Chi got pregnant and now they had a child and they named him Gohan. At the same time Piccolo has grown to be a pure hearted Namekian trying to do whatever it takes to bring peace and planet earth. Since he was raised by Kami he managed to go and put his differences aside and be a warrior for planet earth. He even sparred with Goku a couple of times as they all became friends and now today was the day for the Saiyans to arrive to planet earth. As Goku Chi Chi left with Gohan to make their way towards Bulma's house 
since today was also the day for everyone to get together and see each other after so long. Everyone saw Goku's new child as they were very impressed with Gohan and they were spending their time together. While that was happening, Phi's space spot has now arrived to planet Earth as their door opened and everyone saw that it was Tarbo, Radis, Nappa, Vegeta and Broly. Listen up guys, we're here to get Kakarot to join us and if he refuse, we will simply just kill him. Now let's use our scouter to see where he is. As they used their scouter and they picked up some very weak power level coming from the west but one of them was at 2000. They all believed that the 2000 power level was Kakarot so they made their way towards him but little did they knew that power level they picked up was no one other than Piccolo's power level as he was trying his best to suppress his power level. Everyone was enjoying in the party until Goku sensed a group of high power level coming their way and he said, Hmm? So you sense that too, huh Goku? I can tell troubles coming near us. Yeah, you're not kidding. There are about five of them. Three of them are very weak, but two of them are very strong, especially that middle one. We need to be on our guard, Piccolo. And before you know it, Vegeta and the rest of the Saiyans has arrived as they stared at Goku and Piccolo. Krillin, Tian, Yamcha came to aid them as Vegeta looked towards Goku and said, Well, well, if it isn't the great Kakarot, we came here far away to come to get you Kakarot. My name is Vegeta. From the looks of it, I see you failed to do your mission and conquer this planet. Who are you? And how do you know my name? If I were you, I would leave. Fighting Goku would be the biggest mistake of your life. Goku? <laughs> so you have changed your name, huh Kakarot? Answer me! How do you know that name? Judging by your tail, I can tell you guys are Saiyans. Stop talking nonsense and shut up, little brother! Uh, brother? That's right, Kakarot. I'm your older brother. All of us here are Saiyans. And you are sent to this planet to destroy all life force. Looks like you failed. Look, I don't know what to say about all this brother talk, but I will say this once. Leave this planet and never come back, or else you'll leave me no choice but to go and end you guys here and now. What? Who do you think you are, Kakarot? <laughs> you and what army, Kakarot? We got Broly here. He's a legendary Super Saiyan, but tell me one thing. Why can I not sense your power level from the scouter, Kakarot? That's none of your business. I'll give you this last chance, Vegeta. Walk away, otherwise you'll see why you cannot sense my power level. Alright, how's this deal for you, Kakarot? Join us. If not, you will die here. <laughs> I would love to see you try to kill me. That's it! I'm gonna end you, Kakarot! Before Nappa could touch Goku, everyone saw that Nappa fell straight to the ground and he passed out. As he was bleeding from his mouth, everyone had no idea what just happened except for Broly. As he saw that Goku went and he quickly one-shot Nappa to the ground. Vegeta got worried seeing that, but Broly got angry as he powered up and he went and rushed towards Goku and their battle has begun while Piccolo went and he rushed towards Vegeta and striked him in his face. Raditz and Tarbo went to attack the rest of the Z fighters as Krillin, Tien, Roshi were trying their best to hold them off but from there Gohan got angry seeing what happened so he wanted to go and help his father inside this battle. Piccolo and Vegeta were going at it. As their fists clashed with one another, while that was happening, Radis and Tarbo were trying to attack Krillin, Tien, and Gohan. While Radis went and he powered up a double Sunday and threw it towards Krillin. As he did and from there Krillin tried his best to hold it off but he couldn't as the wave went and scraped him. Gohan got angry seeing that as he went and he began to glow. From there he went and he rushed towards Radis and striked him right in the stomach. Raditz began to bleed from his mouth as he couldn't believe just how powerful Gohan was and that the impact he had on his stomach made him very weak. And before you know it, Raditz has passed out. Tarbo got scared seeing what Gohan did to Raditz as he backed up from their battle. Vegeta went and attacked Piccolo but from there Piccolo went and dodged all of Vegeta's attack as he was too slow for Piccolo. Piccolo then went and kicked Vegeta in the guts and striked him in his face. 
Vegeta got up but he saw that Piccolo came right next to him and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of Vegeta. Vegeta was hurt as he managed to brush himself away from Piccolo and said, How? How could a lowly Namekian touch the prince of all Saiyans? I wouldn't be so sure Saiyan. This is my true power. Kami and I has fused to become one. It's over for you. Broly went and tried to attack Goku but Goku dodged all of his attack and from there he went and kicked him right in the guts as he was in pain and before he knows it Goku went and decked him right in his face and he got sent flying towards the rocks. From there Broly came out as he began to scream. Goku and everyone saw that Broly has used something called his wrath form as he had a huge boost to his power level. Broly was out of control as he went and he tried to attack Goku but from there Goku saw that this was his cue as he went and he used a new technique that he picked up while training with Mirrors and it was called God Bind as he went and he managed to paralyze Broly and said I can see you're a pure hearted Saiyan I would hate to put an end to you let's put our differences aside what do you say Broly? Broly got angry as he began to power up and he managed to break Goku's bind and he striked him right in the stomach causing Goku to be sent flying towards the rocks. Goku got up and said, okay looks like I need to try then. Goku decided to go and use more power as he went and he hit Broly and from there he was getting beat by Goku. While Goku was attacking Broly he noticed that Broly continued to go and grow to be more powerful as he went and he tried to pick Goku up and he threw him across the land. Broly's energy kept growing along with his anger as he couldn't control his emotion and from there Broly went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into his Super Saiyan. Upon seeing that Goku was very amazed with his power level as it had a huge boost but from there Broly went and striked Goku causing it to be sent flying and before Goku can react Broly went and started to attack him non-stop. Vegeta was watching Goku and Broly's battle as he couldn't believe that Broly has finally transformed into his Super Saiyan but he was also shocked to see that Goku was holding his own against Broly. Curse that Kakarot! How can he be this strong? You dropped your guard Porcupine! As Piccolo went and he uppercut Vegeta causing him to be sent flying. Vegeta had no answer for Piccolo's new power as it was too much for him to handle and from there he noticed that Tarbell, Raditz and Napper were all knocked out while Goku had no tail along with Broly. From there Vegeta decided to go and use his trump card as he went and he shined a blessed wave and said, <laughs> It's over for you green man, I'll crush you! Vegeta has transformed into his grade 8. Upon seeing that Piccolo got worried as Vegeta walked towards him and said, It's over green man, I'm going to crush you where you stand. <laughs> this sounds like trouble, but there's only one way to fight this beast. I'm going to need to cut his tail. Piccolo tried to go behind Vegeta's tail. But Vegeta went and used his hand and he whacked Piccolo away causing him to break his arm off. But from there Piccolo went and he healed it as Vegeta saw that and from there Vegeta went and started to attack him while Goku looked at Broly and said, it's time I put an end to this Broly what do you say? Broly went and caught Goku by his leg and he smashed him to the ground and he began to do that repeatedly back and forth as Goku got up and from there he went and kicked Broly in his face. Goku looked at him and said, you're very strong. But you're lacking the fundamental skill to beat me Broly and because of that I am far stronger than you. Now let me show you my true power. <laughs> Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan God. Vegeta turned around as he saw a glimpse of Goku's new power and he was very confused. Piccolo came right in front of him and he striked him in his face as Vegeta fell to the ground and before he knows it, Piccolo went and he powered up a special beam cannon and he aimed it towards Vegeta's tail 
as he managed to go and blow it off and he caused Vegeta to go right back to his base form. Piccolo then came towards Vegeta as he was very angry and he said, Why don't you die you green man? Vegeta then went and powered up a blast and he aimed it towards Piccolo close range. But Piccolo caught it and he dispersed it as he went towards Vegeta and decked him and said, You're going to know what it feels like to lose to a green man. Piccolo then went and knocked Vegeta out. Piccolo turned around as he saw that Broly and Goku were going head to head as he wanted to go and aid Goku in his battle. While Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God and Broly had no idea what it was but he was full of range as he rushed towards Goku and he started to attack him but Goku dodged all of his attack. Broly then went and tried to kick Goku but he caught his leg and he twisted it as Goku went right in front of him and elbowed him in his face. Piccolo came from the back as he went and he grabbed Broly and told Goku to blast him away. Before Goku can do anything, Broly went and he used his elbow and he smashed it on Piccolo's skull. As Piccolo had trouble seeing and from there Broly went and picked him by his face and threw him towards the ground and threw a blast towards Piccolo, causing him to pass out. Goku got very upset seeing that and said, Is this all you got Broly? My bad habit allowed me to go and toy around with my opponent but it's time I go and show you what it means to fight me. Goku decided to go and get a little bit more serious as he powered up to enough power to go and breathe Broly. Goku went and kicked him in his stomach as he had trouble breathing but from there Broly went and tried to throw a blast towards Goku but he moved out of the way as he went and kneed Broly in his face two times and from there Goku went and uppercut him getting Broly to be sent flying towards the sky and before he knows it Goku came right next to Broly and he one shot him towards the ground as Broly went right back to his base form and he passed out. Goku managed to go and beat Broly in the rest of the Saiyans as he managed to put this war to an end. From there Goku went and gave Piccolo and the rest of the Z fighters a Senso Bean as they all recovered and he went and walked towards Broly and gave him one. Once when Broly woken up, he was very confused on how the battle went but from there Goku said, You're very strong Broly, I would love to make you my sparring partner. It would be a shame for me to end a Saiyan as powerful as you. What do you say? Sure, I wouldn't miss it for the world. I must admit, fighting you made me realize how much I love fighting. Vegeta has woken up as he was badly hurt and he tried to escape on his space pod. But before he can summon his space pod, Goku stopped him and said, I'll give you a second chance to join me. We can protect this world and take Frieza down. I'm not going to take orders from you Kakarot. But yes, I'll work with you to take that bastard Frieza down. Goku gave Vegeta a Senso Bean as he ate it and now he has recovered. Goku then went and gave the rest of the Saiyan a Senso Bean and told him to choose the path they want either stay here and fight with justice or leave this planet. Raditz and Tarbell agreed to work with Goku but Nappa tried to kill him but before he can, Piccolo went and threw a blast towards his stomach causing Nappa to die. Goku took everyone to Boma's place as they began planning on how to beat Frieza and from there Goku said, Tell me everything I need to know about this Frieza. After all, I was in a galactic patrol and I know actually a lot about him. Me and my army tried to go and find Frieza but he was hiding for some reason. Yes, you're right Kakarot. He was hiding because Frieza was afraid of the Saiyan. More specifically, I'll say probably you're the Saiyan that Frieza was scared of Kakarot. But you're a fool if you think you could beat Frieza. He has this new awesome power that no one has ever seen before. While that was happening, far in the galaxy, Frieza's men were in his spaceship as they managed to go and pick up a power level coming straight from a planet and they said, My lord, I believe we found the remaining Saiyans. Huh? Are you serious? Where are they? It would appear it's coming from this planet called planet Earth. It's not too far from here. We better act now and kill them. I say do it Frieza. After all, didn't you ask me for help for just for this day? It is time we put an end to the remaining Saiyans. <laughs> You're right father. Alright, listen up man. Make a course towards planet Earth. It's time for me to check out to see if the Saiyans are there. While Goku, Vegeta and everyone else were planning on how to find Frieza and beat him. Little did they knew, Frieza has detected their power level as he was making his way towards them so he can go and end them once and for all. Goku and everyone were making plans on how they will go and find Frieza. Goku then looked at Piccolo and said, Since Kami's part of you, does that mean that the Dragon Balls don't exist anymore? 
Unfortunately, they don't, Goku, you're right. Ever since I fused with Kami, the Dragon Ball ceased to exist. Vegeta was confused on what the heck are Dragon Balls, and from there, he asked Goku to tell him, as Goku explained him that when he gets all seven Dragon Ball, they're able to go and wish for anything they want. Goku was a little upset hearing that the Dragon Balls don't exist anymore, as Vegeta stared towards Goku and he said, Tell me one thing, Kakarot. What was that red transformation you used when you are fighting Broly? I have never heard a Saiyan going red. Oh, that? <laughs> I'm not an ordinary Saiyan, if you notice, Vegeta. I'm a Saiyan that's born with God Key. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm a Saiyan that's born as a bird. <laughs> well, you're not wrong about that, Porcupine. What was that? They all decide to go and regroup and try to find out where they can find Frieza. Their original plan was to go and use the Dragon Balls and ask them to go and locate where Frieza is, but now that the Dragon Balls ceased to exist, Goku had to go and find another way to find Frieza, as he was about to go and call Jocko and Miris to help him. While that was happening, Frieza was making his way towards planet Earth, as he almost has arrived there. One day has passed as they all regrouped and from there Goku was talking to Piccolo but from there they sense a huge power level coming towards Earth as both of them were shocked and Piccolo said, Wow, Goku, do you sense this power? It's no doubt, that's Frieza! But how is he here? How did he find us? I see, and I can also sense someone else is with him. Yeah, that's his bastard father, King Cole Kakarot. We need to be alert. Well, now that all of us are working together, we can take him down, with no problem. Goku and everyone went and they made their way towards where Frieza's spaceship was about to land, as they saw that Frieza's spaceship has now landed. Looks like we have arrived to planet Earth, father. So this is the pathetic planet the Saiyans were living in. Frieza, why don't we just go and destroy this planet? It will save us a lot of trouble and all the Saiyans will die with this blast. Mm, father! Where will be the fun in that? I didn't try to get this power for nothing. I'll crush it myself if I have to. My lord, it would appear that the Saiyans has arrived too. They're outside of our spaceship as we speak. Very well then, let's go and greet them. As Frieza's spaceship door has opened, and from there, him and King Cold has now merged out of the spaceship. Once when they got out, Vegeta saw Frieza and said, Yeah, that's Frieza, no doubt. It's about time we meet. Frieza stared at Goku as Goku stared towards him and he said, I take it you're one of those pathetic monkeys that lives in this planet? My name is Goku. I would normally tell my enemies to leave this planet, but for you, Frieza, I'll wave that and I'll end you here myself. <laughs> is that so, monkey? Well, then, why don't you come and show me what you can do? I'll crush you here and now. Not before I crush you myself, Frieza. Frieza! This is what you wanted, right? To end all of us? Well, today all the remaining Saiyans has gathered in one area. This is your opportunity now, Frieza. <laughs> you Saiyans sure talk a lot. Oh well, let's go and end them now, son. <laughs> You're right, father. These monkeys don't know their place. As Frieza went and he shot a finger beam towards Goku. But Goku went and caught the beam with one finger and he dispersed it. Seeing that got Frieza shocked as Vegeta laughed and said, Frieza, you moron! Kakarot isn't any ordinary Saiyan. Kakarot is a Super Saiyan God! What? A God? Why don't you fight me and find out, Frieza? Not if I kill him first! As Vegeta rushed towards Frieza and started to attack him non-stop. But Frieza was toying with Vegeta, while King Cold got upset seeing that and before he can make a move, Broly went and he charged towards King Cold and he striked him in his face as their battle has begun. Frieza went and he kicked Vegeta away. Vegeta laughed and said, What is wrong Frieza? What happened to that power of yours? <laughs> I wouldn't need to use this power against some weakling like you. It is used for someone worthy. As Frieza went and he decked Vegeta in his face, causing him to be sent flying away and before he knows it, he went and knocked him towards the ground. Frieza then went and powered up a blast, but before he can throw it to kill Vegeta, Goku came as he went and kicked Frieza in his face and he landed towards the water. Frieza got right back up and he saw Goku and said, It's time you fight someone your own size, what do you say Frieza? <laughs> Why not monkey, I guess this will be pretty fun. 
You might be a worthy opponent to fight after all. As Frieza went and he rushed towards Goku and he tried to strike him but Goku dodged all of Frieza's attack very easy as Frieza was confused on how he was dodging all of his attack. From there Goku went and kneed him in his stomach as he was in pain. Frieza then went and tried to attack Goku nonstop but Goku dodged it again and from there he went and striked Frieza as he was completely powerless to fight Goku. He had no answer for him while that was happening. Broly and King Cold's battle was getting a lot intense as King Cold went 100% and he was trying to hit Broly with everything he's got. But from there Broly went and kicked him in his knees causing him to have trouble balancing himself and from there he went and uppercut him as he got sent flying towards the air. King Cold tried to stop himself but before he can, Broly came and started to beat the shit out of him. Frieza laughed and said, You're good monkey, but now it's time I show you my true power. You'll see what I'm capable of. Behold! Frieza has now transformed into his golden form. As King Cold went and he brushed Broly off and he went and did the same. King Cold managed to get his golden form too, but he wasn't close to Frieza when it comes to being experienced inside the golden form. Goku was impressed with Frieza's power as he smiled and said, Looks like you won't be a disappointment after all Frieza, I might have to try against you. Okay then let's do this. <laughs> Goku has transformed into his Super Saiyan God, while Broly went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan. Now Frieza, let the real battle begin. Show me this power of yours. The last time you used this power, we were much weaker, but now the table has turned. Frieza went and he rushed towards Goku as he tried to strike him, but from there Goku went and caught his fist and kicked him in the air as he came right towards him and both of the power clashed with one another. As Golden Frieza and Super Saiyan God Goku were going at it. While that was happening, Broly charged towards King Cold and their power clashed with each other. King Cold went and tried to attack Broly but Broly was getting stronger as he went and he uppercut King Cold and he started to beat the shit out of his golden form. Broly then went and kneed him in his back as he went and powered up in a racer cannon and he threw it towards King Cold. King Cold tried to hold it off but he couldn't and from there he got killed by Broly's attack while Goku was going at it with Frieza as both of them were going head to head. Their power was almost equal until Goku started to go and use more power and he began to overpower Frieza's golden form. Frieza was trying everything he can to overpower Goku at any cost but Super Saiyan Goku was too much for him to handle. As Goku went and he decked Frieza in his face causing him to be sent flying towards the rocks. Once when he got up, he then looked towards Goku and said, I will admit monkey, you are strong. If I didn't have more power, I would have been a lot more scared. More power? Yeah right, you're bluffing. So be it monkey, let me show you then. Behold my platinum form. Frieza has transformed into his platinum form. As Goku was surprised to see that and from there he said, I would love to see you challenge this form monkey. Let's see if your whatever you want to call it god can come near this power of mine. Oh my god, he's not bluffing. I told you monkey, you made a mistake trying to challenge me. Now I'll kill you and destroy this planet. 
before Goku can blink. Frieza came right next to him as he went and decked him in his jaw. Goku got sent flying and before he can crash towards the land, Frieza came right behind him and he started to attack him. Uh, how? How did Frieza get this strong? And when did he have this power? It's like we had no idea about this power. What do we do? Broly came right next towards Goku as Vegeta saw that and from there he went and powered up as he wanted to go and aid them in their battle while Frieza was beating the shit out of Goku. Goku's Super Saiyan God power was being overpowered by Frieza's platinum form as he was much stronger than Goku and from there he went and kneed Goku in the stomach and he started to attack him. Broly came out of nowhere and kicked Frieza in his face as Frieza moved a couple inches away and he saw Broly and said, Looks like another monkey came here to die. He's not alone, Frieza. We will all work together to take you down. <laughs> Alright, Frieza. I must admit you're very strong. I have underestimated you. But let's see you take on all of us. Let's do it then. We'll work together as a team and take you down. <laughs> Bring it on, monkey. I'd like to see what he can do. Broly went and he charged towards Frieza as he started to attack him but Frieza dodged all of his attack. From there Vegeta went and powered up a massive Gallic gun and he threw it towards Frieza's back but Frieza went and caught it with one hand as he will try to disperse it but from there Broly went and charged towards Frieza as he went and used his tail and he smacked Broly right in the face. Goku came and striked him in his stomach causing Frieza to fall to the ground. Once when Frieza got up, he then saw that Broly and Goku charged towards him and they started to attack him but Frieza dodged each and every one of their attack as he was too fast for Goku and Broly. Vegeta then got angry seeing that how strong Frieza was so he went and powered up another attack but before he can throw it towards them, Frieza went and kneed him in his face as Vegeta fell to the ground and he passed out. Broly went and started to attack Frieza as he went and powered up an eraser cannon but Frieza went and powered up his blast and he threw it towards Broly's eraser cannon as both of their blasts got dispersed and from there Frieza came right towards Broly and he started to punch him in his stomach non-stop. Frieza then went and uppercut Broly as he got sent flying towards the air but from there Goku came and elbowed Frieza right in the neck. Frieza saw that as he went and took Goku's hand and he twisted it as he striked him right in his stomach and Goku fell straight towards the ground while Broly couldn't handle Frieza's new power and from there Frieza went and kneed him in his back and threw him towards the ground and he threw a blast towards Broly as it hit him head on and Broly fell to the ground and passed out. Leaving Goku to be the only one to stand. Goku saw Frieza as he was amazed with his power and he said, I must admit Frieza, you are very strong. What did I tell you monkey? They don't call me Emperor Frieza for nothing. I trained for this moment and after seeing the way you fight, I have no doubt. You are the Saiyan that blocked my attack when I came to destroy planet Vegeta. Huh? The Saiyan that blocked your attack? That's right, monkey. You don't probably remember because you're a child, but I do. And now, I'm gonna go and destroy this entire world just like I did to your first planet. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, Frieza. I still got another form within me that I haven't used yet. Huh? What are you talking about? That's right, Frieza. I have a power which I haven't used yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall for that bluff. If you do, I won't allow you to use it. You overgrown, disgusting monkey. <laughs> You act like you can't stop me from using this power. I would love to see you try, you high-pitched she-male. What did you say? As Frieza came right behind Goku and he started to attack him but Goku tried to hit him but from there Frieza dodged it easily. As he went and he overpowered Goku and from there he went and threw a blast towards Goku. Goku tried to hold the blast off but it was too much for him to handle as Goku managed to go and create some space and from there he went and he screamed. Goku has now took his Super Saiyan God power to the next level as he managed to go and transform 
to a form known as Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, aka Super Saiyan Blue. Upon seeing this transformation, everyone was completely shocked to see that Goku's hair has turned from red to blue as he managed to have a huge boost towards his power. What? What is this? What kind of transformation is this? First it was red, now it's blue! Curse you, Kakarot! Always trying to get new heights! First red, now blue! I have no idea what's with the blue hair, but just like the previous one, I cannot sense his power. Far in the galaxy, inside the Galactic Patrol spaceship. Amazing! Goku finally managed to go blue! I'm so proud of him! What? Isn't he fighting Frieza? We should go move in! No, Goku got this! Hmm, I see Goku has gone beyond his Super Saiyan God power. This battle between him and Frieza is going to come to an end. Answer me, monkey! What is this form? Oh, this? <laughs> this is just another costume change for the weakling monkey. Just like how the she-mills color changed, my color changed from red to blue. Call this a Super Saiyan Blue. Stop calling me a she -mill. Before Frieza could finish his sentence, Goku came right in front of Frieza as he striked him causing him to be sent flying with high pressure. Goku then came right behind him and he went and grabbed Frieza's arm and kneed him in his back. Frieza tried to get free but Goku went and started to punch his face non-stop. Seeing Goku's new power got Frieza to be very confused and said, What is this power? How are you so much stronger? I'm a Saiyan that's born with something called God Key. A Saiyan God? That is impossible! And even so, my power exceeds that of Lord Beerus! And he's a god! I'm not sure about that, but what I do know is Frieza, I have been raised and trained by Mirus, who is also an angel. Huh? Did I hear that right? Kakarot trained with the angel? No way! That explains a lot why he's so strong! <laughs> well, he's Goku, I'm not surprised. I don't care! The only way they'll end you, lonely monkey! It's by destroying you once and for all. After all, monkey, the strongest one don't win, the smartest one win the battle. Frieza went and he powered up a massive blast, strong enough to turn Earth into rubbles. As he went and he released the attack towards planet Earth, Goku tried to get towards the attack, but he wasn't fast enough. As the blast went and it hit Earth and it got exploded. But once when the smoke cleared, Goku and Frieza saw that Mirus has arrived with Jocko. As Mirus was the one who came right in front of the blast and he stopped it and he looked towards Goku and said, Goku, you're toying with him too much and because of that look what happened. Mirus, <laughs> thank you so much, I owe you big time. Alright then, I'll put an end to him. Goku, try to see if you could bring him back to us alive. I would love to arrest him and put him inside the Galactic Patrol prison. Goku went and he rushed towards Frieza as he decked him in his face and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of Frieza. Frieza didn't stand a chance against Goku, as his platinum form was too weak for a Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Frieza then went and he tried to power up another attack but before he can release it, Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it towards Frieza. As it hit him head on and from there Frieza saw that he was powerless to fight Super Saiyan Blue Goku as his power far exceeded Frieza's and from there Frieza got hit head on as he went right back to his base and he passed out. Goku managed to go and hold a lot of power back when he released that Kamehameha wave so he can get Frieza to be knocked out and put him inside the Galactic Patrol prison. The battle has finally came to an end as Goku proved to be stronger than Frieza and from there he went right back to his base and he flew towards Mirus. As he was very happy to see Mirus and from there Goku said, What are you guys doing here Mirus? Goku, do you think I'm gonna let you have all the fun alone with this tyrant? No way! I came to take him down and look good. <laughs> I can sense your Super Saiyan Blue power, Goku. Congratulations on using it for the first time. <laughs> Thanks, Mirus. I did train with you before, remember? And because of you, I was able to use this power. But today, it felt like something else. But we have another problem. The Earth is now missing the Dragon Balls. Well, you can always go to Planet Namek. That is where all the Dragon Balls has been actually set. And from there, if you want, you can even use the Dragon Balls and make a wish. And I believe they also will give you a Guardian of Earth, therefore you'll have another Dragon Ball inside your own planet. 
If you like Goku, I can take you towards Planet Namek. Oh yeah! That sounds awesome! Thank you so much, Miris! Vegeta and everyone was very confused on what they were seeing as Vegeta saw Miris and from there he went towards Miris and he asked him if he can train him so he can get a huge boost to his power. Right now I'm very busy but I will train you when I get the chance, Vegeta. If anything, I'll actually ask my master to see what he can do with you. Huh? Your master? Oh! You mean Whis? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's free to help you out. But anyway, let's do this, Miris. Let's go to Planet Namek. Goku! I want to come with you guys too. After all, that is a place where I was born. I want to see my own planet. Sounds good, Piccolo. Let's go. From there, Goku and Piccolo went inside the Galactic Patrol Air Force and now they have left planet Earth with Frieza. They first stopped by the Galactic Patrol airspace so they can go and put Frieza inside his jail cell. Mears was the one who put Frieza inside the jail and from there they decided to go and take Goku and Piccolo towards planet Namek. While they were going, Bulma offered Vegeta and Broly to stay at her place as they accepted her offer and from there Vegeta and Bulma start to have feelings for one another. But Vegeta was very upset on learning that Goku was able to train with the angel so he wanted to be the one to have Super Saiyan God power just like Goku and start training. As he began to start worrying of when Whis will come to see him and before he knows it, someone has appeared right next to Vegeta as he looked up and he saw that it was Whis and he said, I see you're kind of struggling with yourself, Vegeta. Hmm? Oh, uh, are, are you Whis? Are you Mears' master? That is correct. My name is Whis, and Mears did tell me about you. Please, Whis, can you train me? I want to be as strong as Kakarot. If anything, I want to surpass him. Hmm. I will train you, but for that, you need to first come and accept my offer, and that is, you'll need to become the destroyer for Universe 7 when the time comes. Vegeta had no idea what Whis was asking of him, but he was very desperate to get stronger so he agreed to Whis' offer. From there he went and gave Whis some lunch and now they left planet earth, making their way towards Beerus' world so they could begin their training, while Goku and Piccolo has now arrived to planet Namek. From there they went and they told their situation to Guru. Guru understood everything they told him and from there he went and gave them the Dragon Ball so they can use for any wish they want while Goku told Guru that they need to have a new guardian of earth for Guru suggested him to go and take Dende as he will make a very good guardian for planet earth. Guru then called Goku and Piccolo over as he saw that they were pure hearted men and from there he went and unlocked their potential. Goku and Piccolo got a huge boost to their power and now they went and they used the Dragon Balls and they wished for to fix all the damage that Vegeta and Frieza has done to planet earth. They now got a new Guardian of Earth and from there Mirus took them back to planet Earth but before going, he then looked towards Goku and said, Goku, I believe the time has now arrived. You can ask the dragon to take you to that place we always talked about, planet Yadrid. Once you get there, I have no doubt you'll get a lot stronger as they'll teach you a lot of new moves Goku that will be very useful for you for your upcoming battle. I see, planet Yadrid. Alright, I'll do what you tell me, Mirus. I'll go to planet Yadrid and see what he can teach me. Ask the dragon to take you there. You'll learn so much, Goku. I cannot wait to see you again. As Mirrors and Goku said their goodbye, and now he has left Planet Namek with Piccolo and Dende as he took them back to Planet Earth. While Goku went towards the dragon and he asked him to transfer him from Planet Namek to Planet Yadrid. As Perunga did, and from there, Goku has now arrived to Planet Yadrid. Upon his arrival, before Goku can go and talk to any of the Yadrin, Goku sensed a high power level coming from the east. As he flew towards there and when he got there, he saw a young man was standing there as he saw Goku and he said, Hey Goku, can I talk to you? Huh? Sure, and how do you know me? My name is Trunks. I'm a Saiyan from planet Earth. I have come from the future. I see this is the best place I can talk to you without having anyone notice me. The future? Yes Goku, there's trouble coming. Five years from now. Five killer androids will come to your planet and they're going to destroy all life forces. They will stop at nothing. Please Goku, you are the hope of the future. Save it. And here, take this. You're going to die by a heart virus very soon, but this medicine will make sure that you stay alive. Wow, thank you so much Trunks, and I promise you I'll do whatever it takes to save planet Earth from this danger. Trunks then said his goodbye as he went right back to his timeline 
while Goku has now went and talked to the Yadren and his training has begun. A couple of years has passed since Goku went to planet Yadrid and he begun his training while Vegeta has just returned right back to planet Earth after he finished his training with Whis and he continued to do his own training. During those two years of training, Goku has finished his training with planet Yadrid and he managed to go and learn few new techniques which would be very useful for their upcoming battle. Before leaving planet Yadrid, Goku got a call from a Kai that was known as King Kai as he told Goku to come over to his planet so he can try training with him and when Goku did, they then got together and he began training with King Kai as he taught Goku two new techniques which were the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. But it was time for Goku to go back to his loved ones and tell them about what Trunks told him which was about the android and Dr. Jiro. Goku said his goodbye to King Kai and from there he went and he instant transmission to planet Earth. Once when Goku got there, he then saw that everyone was busy training. So he went and he met with Gohan and Chi Chi and from there he decided to go and meet with Piccolo and Broly as they all regrouped to Bulma's place and now Goku told everyone about the androids that will be coming in 3 years and that they need to get prepared. Everyone has made their mind that for the next 3 years they are going to do nothing but train while Goku asked Piccolo and Broly to come join him with Gohan so they could train together while Vegeta decided to go and train to and now they start to do a lot of training with one another. Everyone has agreed to train and fight off the androids so they can survive for the future. During their training session Goku made sure to work with Gohan because he saw that Gohan had a lot of potential and he tried his best to unleash most of Gohan's potential. He then also went and met up with Miris and told them everything about the android and that they need to continue training their training session. As he went and he started to train with Miris and before you know it, 3 years has passed as everyone spent their time for this moment which was to go and fight the androids. They all decide to go and make their way towards West City. Upon their arrival, everyone has regrouped as Goku saw everyone's power level has increased big time and he was very impressed with it. But before they can say another word, they heard a loud explosion coming from the city as they decide to go and find out where the androids are since they couldn't sense their power. While searching for the androids, Yamcha was the first of the Z fighters to encounter them as he saw Dr. Jiro and from there Dr. Jiro went and pierced through his chest as he was about to die. Everyone sensed Yamcha's power depleting so they all made their way towards him and they saw 5 people were standing there as it was Dr. Jiro, Android 16, Android 17, Android 18 and even Android 19. Goku looked at them as Gohan got Yamcha and he gave him a sense of being and said, I take it you guys are the androids. That is right and you're Goku. I have been watching you Goku since the day you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army and because of that, we have been studying you, gathering each and every one of your DNA including all the fighters that you have fought to make the ultimate android. Your doom is coming very near. Is that so? Well then let me show you guys one thing to see how doomed we are. Goku has transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue while Gohan managed to learn to tap into his Super Saiyan God power and everyone else went to their full power. As Goku stared towards them while Dr. Jiro was completely surprised to see everyone's power has increased big time. From there Goku went and he rushed towards Andre 17 as their power clashed with one another and they were going at it. Piccolo went towards Dr. Jiro and he began to attack him while Gohan rushed towards Andre 19. Broly went in charge towards Andre 16. Goku was holding his own against Andre 17 until he began to feel a lot of pain in his chest which caused him to fell to the ground and from there everyone saw Goku got hit by the heart virus. 
and Droid 17 thought this was his opportunity to end Goku, as he went towards Goku and he was about to attack him but before he can, he got kicked in the face and he flew towards the rock. Everyone saw that Vegeta has now arrived as he looked towards Android 17 and said, You will spill no Saiyan blood today! Vegeta has transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. Android 17 was surprised to see that, as he went and he rushed towards Vegeta and they began to attack each other, while Tien went and picked Goku up and took him to his home and gave him the medicine. Piccolo went and he blasted Dr. Jiro through his chest, causing him to die right there, while Gohan went and he started to beat the shit out of Android 19. Android 19 tried to absorb Gohan's power, but his Super Saiyan God power was too much for Android 19, as Gohan went and he powered up a Masei Koha and he threw it towards Android 19 and he got exploded right there. While Broly went and he continued to attack Android 16. As he went and he striked him in his guts and he got sent flying towards the rocks, but he came right back up and he attacked Broly as they were going at it. After defeating Android 19, Gohan and Piccolo went and they charged towards Android 18 and they started to attack her, but she was holding her own against them. Android 17 went and he tried to attack Vegeta but Vegeta went and caught his fist and he twisted his arm but from there 17 went and kneed Vegeta right in the face as he got mad and from there he continued to attack Android 17 as he started to beat the shit out of him. While that was happening, Gohan and Piccolo were working together to try to take down Android 18 but she was holding her own as she went and she tried to punch them but from there Gohan went and he uppercut her as she got sent flying to the air and Piccolo went and kicked her to the ground. Once when 18 landed, she then got up but she saw that someone was right behind her. As he managed to sneak up right behind her and he grabbed her and he began to absorb her. It was no one other than an android named Cell. As he has now become semi-perfect Cell and he said, <laughs> Well, this is the power that I got from absorbing 18. Where are you 17? Be part of me and become the strongest warrior. Vegeta got confused on what he was seeing. As 17 didn't know what to do but from there, he saw that Cell saw him as Cell rushed towards 17. Vegeta tried and he went and strike Cell right in the face but Cell dodged him easily. From there, the rest of the Z fighters decided to go and protect Android 17 because they saw with Android 18 being absorbed within Cell, he had a huge boost to his power and who knows how strong he'll be if he managed to go and absorb Android 17. Gohan charged towards Cell as he went and uppercut him, but Cell got a grip as he went and decked Gohan right in the face, causing him to be sent flying towards the rocks. Cell then saw that it was futile to try to get Andre 17 with all the Z fighters fighting him, so he decided to go and use one of their moves which was the Solar Flare. Upon releasing the Solar Flare, everyone that was there got blind, including Andre 16, as Cell made his way towards Andre 17 and next thing you know, he went and absorbed him, as he has now become Perfect Cell. <laughs> this power, this is what Dr. Duro been talking about over the years, making me the ultimate android. You can call this perfect form. Hey buddy! You still need to deal with me! As Vegeta got into his fighting position and he stared towards Cell. Before Cell can make a move, Broly came out of nowhere as he grabbed Cell and he smashed him towards the ground. Broly began to pound on Cell's face as he started to damage him but from there Cell went and he kicked Broly in the guts and said, You're strong Broly, but I also have your Cell within me. Now let me show you my power! Cell has used something called God Form, which he has picked up from Goku's DNA, as he had a God transformation and now Vegeta got worried and said, This android, he has God Key, how is that possible? 
<laughs> it is all thanks to Goku's DNA. After all, that is all Dr. Jiro needed. A one piece of DNA blood sample of Goku to make me this ultimate perfection. And not just Goku. I even have Frieza and his family's power within me. While all that was happening, Goku was at his home as he was recovering in his bed but from there Mirus has come to planet earth as he wanted to see Goku and he saw that Goku was in bed rest so from there he went and used his staff and he shined it on Goku as he got recovered from his heart rivers and he got up. Once when he did, he then saw Mirus and said, Hi Mirus, good to see you. It's good to see you too Goku. But now what are you going to do? You know what's happening inside your planet, don't you? Yeah, I do. I was able to sense everything in my sleep. Looks like this android has God Key too. Well, you know what to do, Goku. Yes, but this time, my son Gohan will be the one to take the lead and be the hero. Goku went and he sensed where everyone's power were. And from there he went and he instant transmission towards the battle. Once when he got there, he saw that Piccolo, Vegeta and Gohan were watching Broly go at Cell as Cell was trying to go all out to attack Broly and from there he began to overpower Broly. Broly went and picked Cell up and threw him across the land but Cell got right back up and he rushed towards Broly and he striked him in his face and he started to use more power and from there he went and uppercut Broly and he powered up a death beam attack and threw it towards him. One of Frieza's attack that he unleashed on Broly as it hit him head on and he fell towards the ground. Goku stepped in as Cell saw Goku and said, Ah, oh, if it isn't the great Goku, I always want to meet you Goku and challenge you to a battle. Let's see who is stronger. Look here Cell, you want a challenge? How about you fight us in 10 days? 10 days from now, I'll promise you, I'll bring you a challenge that you can never forget and I guarantee you you're going to die. <laughs> Goku. Do you see how powerful I am? Okay then, show me how strong that fighter or whoever you're going to bring towards me. I'll let you come back in 10 days. As Cell left and from there, Gohan was very happy to see Goku. And from there he went and he instant transmission everyone to Dende's lookout. Once when he got there, he then told him about the hyperbolic time chamber. Everyone decided to go and train inside there for 10 days. Before they entered, Future Trunks has now arrived to planet Earth as he wanted to see how everything was going but from there he found out that the androids were kinda completely different from the one that he had to face and now they were in the pickle but from there Goku decided to go and get Trunks to help them as he told Vegeta to go inside a chamber with him and train together. Upon learning his name, Vegeta realized that that was his son from the future but he didn't say anything. After Vegeta has trained inside the chamber. Piccolo and Broly went and they did their training session and from there gratis and Tarball as everyone has now trained inside the hyperbolic time chamber but Goku and Gohan were the last one to train. Once when they got out, there was still 3 more days but everyone saw that Goku was completely happy and confident and he knew that they had the power to end Cell. So he decided to go and rest and spend some time with his family and while everyone was very confused on why Goku so cheery. And now 3 days has passed, it was time to go and meet Cell again as all the Z fighters gathered together and they flew towards where Cell was. Goku and the Z fighters have now arrived to the Cell game as they saw an enormous arena the Cell has made and from there. It was known as the Cell Game Arena. Everyone was surprised to see that Cell has made an arena just for this moment as he looked towards the Z fighters and he said, Well then, who will be the one to fight me first? Is it you Goku? That's right Cell, I'll be the one to fight you first. As Goku made his way towards the arena. From there, Goku and Cell stared at one another and before you know it, their battle has now begun as both of them had a lot of intense aura coming out of their body. From there, Cell went and he rushed towards Goku as he tried to strike him but Goku went and caught his fist as he twisted it and from there he went and striked Cell right in the guts. Cell fell to the ground but he came right up and he elbowed Goku in his guts and he started to attack him. 
As he threw Goku towards the ground and from there Goku got up and he rushed towards Cell and both of their power clashed with one another as both of them went and they continued to attack each other. Goku then went and he started to kick it up a notch as he went and he decked Cell in his face but Cell quickly recovered and from there he went and landed a blow towards Goku as both of them went and they were going blow to blow. Goku and Cell were trying hard to overpower one another. While Goku saw that Cell began to overpower him, he then went and kneed Goku right in the stomach and striked him towards the ground. Goku got up and said, Alright Cell, I must admit you're far stronger than me in my current state. But that is, if I don't use my trump card. Hmm? <clears throat> what are you talking about Goku? Let me show you, my Kaioken! Goku has now used his Kaioken technique, mixing with his Super Saiyan Blue, as he used Kaioken times 20, and from there he went and rushed towards Cell as it gave him a huge boost towards his power. Goku then went and hit Cell right in his face as he was too fast for Cell to see. Before you know it, Goku started to beat the shit out of Cell as he was overpowering him and from there Cell got really mad as he wanted to have control so he went and started to power up as he went and used 75% of his power while Goku was going all out and they were both equally tied. Everyone couldn't believe what they were seeing as they all witnessed that Goku and Cell battle was getting a lot more intense as both of them were landing blow to blow with one another while Goku and Cell were going at it. The newscast has come to film their fight as the whole world were seeing the fight between Goku and Cell and they were all confused but at the same time they saw that Cell was the enemy and that he wanted to go and destroy the entire planet but if the Z fighters win, planet earth would not be destroyed. Goku and Cell powered up as they continued to rush at each other and start to attack each other but Goku started to go and lose stamina against Cell as he decided to go and use everything he had and from there he went and powered up a max Kamehameha wave and he threw it towards Cell. Cell got hurt by Goku's wave but he went and regenerated as Goku smiled and said, <laughs> You're very good Cell, far better than what I thought. <laughs> what do you expect Goku? I have yours and Frieza's DNA inside me and I also trained for 10 days since you did say you'll find a fighter strong enough to kill me. But tell me Goku, is that all you got? If so, I am disappointed. Well, you are going to lose Cell, but not by me. It'll be done by my son, Gohan. Huh? Are you serious? Here, I thought that you'll bring me a challenge, but instead you bring me your child. How pathetic. Everyone got very confused on what Goku was saying, as he couldn't comprehend it. And from there, Goku went towards Gohan and said, Are you ready, son? Uh, father. What if I fail? <clears throat> you won't Gohan, just remember your training inside the hyperbolic time chamber and you will succeed. I believe in you son. Gohan then started to have some confidence within him as he flew towards the arena while Goku was watching but Piccolo and everyone else felt very stupid as they had no idea what the hell Goku was doing until Mears has arrived to the battle and said, Good luck Gohan, I can see his power is far stronger than anyone here. He has the power to end Cell. What? No! First Kakra and now his son? Am I a joke? Gohan stared at Cell, while Cell was upset on having Gohan as his opponent and from there he went and he tried to attack Gohan but Gohan dodged him very easily as he went and he uppercut Cell and he caused him to be sent flying towards the air. Cell got confused as he couldn't believe that Gohan was able to hit him and from there he went and charged towards Gohan and both of them were going at it. Cell and Gohan were landing blow to blow with each other. While they were trying to overpower each other, Cell then went and used 100% of his power as he started to go and beat the shit out of Gohan. Goku saw that as he was still smiling and he was believing in Gohan. While Gohan tried to brush Cell off, but he couldn't as Cell went and he continued to attack him. And from there, Cell then decided to go and power up an attack to kill Gohan. But before he can do that, Android 16 has come out of nowhere. As he went and he grabbed Cell and he tried to blow himself up, but before he can do that, Cell went and threw a blast towards Android 16's stomach, as it caused him to explode right there and he died. 
upon seeing that got Gohan very upset, as he couldn't believe that Andre 16 gave his life to save Gohan and from there he felt a push as Gohan has went and he screamed. Gohan has now transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue 2. Upon seeing this, got Cell very confused as he didn't know what was happening while Goku was very happy and from there Gohan went and looked towards Cell and said, It's over Cell, I'll destroy you where you stand. Cell then went and he tried to get a grip as he tried to go and attack Gohan but Gohan dodged his attack very easily. And from there, Cell went and continued to throw a lot of punches towards Gohan as he tried his best to hit him but Gohan dodged each and every one of his attacks. Seeing that got Cell very mad as he said, mm, Stop dodging my attack you coward! Gohan then went and took Cell by his hand and threw him towards the ground as he kicked him right in his face and it got Cell sent flying towards the rocks. Once when Cell got up, he then saw that Gohan was walking towards him as Cell started to feel a little fear and from there he went and used 100% of his power and he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave to throw it towards Gohan. But Gohan did the same as both of the attack got dispersed but Gohan managed to win the Kamehameha wave battle without breaking a sweat. And from there Cell got very angry and desperate as he looked towards Gohan and said, What is this? You're a monster! I told you Cell, I'm going to end you! As Gohan came right in front of Cell and he punched him right in his stomach. The pressure was enough for Cell to start getting sick and from there he went and puked out Android 17 and 18. Cell then went right back to his base as he didn't know what to do and before he can go and power himself up to self-destruct, Gohan came right in front of him as he powered up a one-hand Kamehameha wave and he threw it towards Cell as it hit him head on and he died. Gohan with his new Super Saiyan 2 blue power, he managed to go and defeat Cell once and for all and he has proven to be one of the strongest warriors in the universe. They all were very happy for Gohan as they couldn't believe just how powerful he has gotten as Goku came towards Gohan and he hugged him and said, I'm so proud of you son, I told you I always believed in you. They all decided to go to Bulma's place as they went and they summoned the dragon and they asked him to bring back all the people that Cell has killed. Andre 16 has come back as Andre 17, 18 and Andre 16 came towards the Z fighters and they called truce. Goku then invited him to be part of the Z fighters and fight alongside with them. The android has accepted Goku's offer as they have now become one of the Z fighters. They all went and they enjoyed their time at Bulma's place as they're all partying and from there the war of the android has come to an end as Gohan managed to go and defeat Cell and the android has now become ally with the Z fighters. Future Trunks has said his goodbye as he went right back to his timeline while Mirrors came towards Goku and Gohan and he congratulated him and said, Congratulations guys, Gohan, you are amazing, you got a lot of potential within you, and Goku, you should know something, Lord Beerus will be awakened very soon from his slumber, and once when he does, he will want to come and fight you guys, and if you guys lose towards him, I'm afraid he's gonna destroy your guys' planet, so far you start training hard and be prepared for Beerus to arrive. That way you guys have the upper hand. Sounds good Mirrors, thank you so much. And I'll be training hard for that day and also, let's continue our training session someday. Looking forward to it Goku. As Mirrors said his goodbye and he end up leaving. At the same time, the newscast has come towards Goku and Gohan as they offered them a lifetime full of money due to the fact that they have managed to save the earth and both of them were known as heroes of the time. Everyone went right back to their home as Goku and Gohan has now arrived back and Chi Chi couldn't stop celebrating on being rich. And from there, 7 years more has passed since they all destroyed Cell. Within that 7 years, Goku, Gohan, Broly, Vegeta along with Piccolo all spent their time training as they are trying to get stronger so they can stand a chance against Beerus when he comes. Goku had a new child and he named him Goten as he also trained him and he was part of the Z fighters and since he was Goku's child. He was also born with God Key. Gohan on the other hand has now grown into an 18 year old teenage as he has entered high school and from there he continued to train with Goku. Within those 7 years, the Supreme Kai has come to planet earth 
as he was told by Whis who Goku was and he was very interested in meeting with Goku. Once when he met Goku, he then informed Goku that very soon Majin Buu will be resurrected and then he looked towards Gohan as he saw that Gohan had a lot of potential to get stronger so he invited Goku and Gohan to come to his world and train. They accepted his offer as they both went to the Supreme Kai's world and from there, Supreme Kai got Gohan to train with the Z sword as he did while Goku decided to go and train with Mirus so he can get a lot stronger. And from there, 7 years has passed as it was peaceful. The time has come for the Z fighters to go and find Majin Buu as they managed to go and before Buu can be hatched, they went and put an end towards Bobbity, leaving Majin Buu to be unhatched. They then continued their training. While the Z fighters were doing all of this, far in the galaxy, a destroyer has now awakened from his slumber as he looked towards attendant and he said, Whis. Ah, hello Lord Beerus, how are you? Ugh, Whis, tell me one thing, what the hell is going on inside this universe? Hmm? What do you mean my lord? I could sense so much god keys, what is going on Whis? Please. Yes, my lord. I see you have finally waken up. Yes, but there's something weird. I've been sensing this whole time. Hmm. And what is that you sense, my lord? There is something you should know. As Whis went and he told Beerus everything he needed to know about Goku. As he has also mentioned that Gohan, Vegeta, and even Broly were part of the group and that they were very powerful. Upon hearing that got Beerus to be a little bit shooken up, but when he heard that Whis told him that Goku is a Saiyan that is born with God Ki, it got Beerus to get very nervous and he said, What? How can that be Whis? How is that possible? I don't know my lord, but he is very powerful and he has managed to master his God form and even go beyond that. He went something that we cannot even imagine, while his son was the first to go to that power. Goku, huh? And now his son. I see. I don't like the feeling of this, but okay, Whis. I want you to take me to their planet now. I want to see this Saiyan. But tell me, Whis. Why did you train him and even Vegeta? Well, they did ask, my lord. Ugh. You know, Whis, you kind of signed my death warrant, right? But if I cannot beat these Saiyans, then I don't deserve to be called a destroyer. Let's go to Earth, Whis. While Beerus was making his way towards planet Earth, Back on planet Earth, it was Boma's birthday party, as everyone has come to her birthday to celebrate, which was being held in a yacht. Gohan and Broly along with Raditz has arrived to her birthday, while Vegeta has now finished his sparring match with Broly, and now he has arrived too, as everyone has gathered to Boma's place except for Goku, as he was busy training with Miris. Inside their training room, he was going through some intense training and from there they were sparring with one another. After their training has completed, Mears then looked towards his staff as he saw that it was glowing and that it was a message from Whis. Apparently, Whis told Mears that Beerus will be on his way towards planet Earth and from there Mears looked towards Goku and he said, Goku looks like the time has come. Beerus has now awakened and he's making his way towards planet Earth as we speak. <laughs> I'm not worried Mears, you know very well what kind of training I did. If it doesn't work against him, then I don't know what will. Goku has now come to Earth as he has gathered with the Z fighters and he told them everything that he they needed to know about Beerus and that he was coming to worst planet Earth. Vegeta got a little nervous as he recalled Whis telling him that Beerus is far stronger than anyone he has ever fought and before they know it, Beerus has now arrived to planet Earth and said, Well well, if this isn't such a quiet place to live huh Whis? Uh, it's him! Beerus the Destroyer! So that's him, huh? We need to be in our guard. I got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. I can see there's a lot of strong fighters here. But you're different, Saiyan. You're probably Goku. The one that's born with Divine Key. And I take it you're Beerus, the Destroyer. Ah, oh, I see you have done your homework, Saiyan. And that's right, I'm him. I have come here to challenge you to see where you stand against me. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You should know one thing about me Beerus, I never say no to a challenge. And I knew one day we will meet, 
I've been prepared for this day. Hey, buddy, who do you think you are coming here and wanting to fight us? I'll put this very simple. You either leave Earth and survive, or you stay here and die. Be gone, you Saiyan. As Beerus brought his hand out, and he's about to go and use his Hakai towards Broly. But from there, Broly went and used his instinct as he strike Beerus right in his stomach and it caused him to move meters away. And from there, their battle has begun. Beerus has come towards Broly as he rushed towards him and he started to attack him non-stop. But from there, Broly managed to go and separate himself from Beerus and he went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan as he looked at Beerus and said, It's over Beerus, I'll end you where you stand. Broly went and rushed towards Beerus and he striked him right in the face. Beerus tried to hit Broly back as he went and tried to attack him but Broly twisted his hand and he caught him with one hand and started to throw him towards the ground as he picked him up and slammed him towards the ground and he did that repeatedly. Beerus was kinda woozy from that and from there he went and kicked Broly right in the side as Broly dropped him and he moved a couple inches away and from there they both charged at each other and they started to continue to go at it. Beerus then went and he powered up a Hakai Blast to throw it towards Broly while Broly tried his best to go and block the attack but before he can, Beerus came right behind him and he went and striked him down causing Broly to fall straight towards the ground. Vegeta got mad as he powered up to his Super Saiyan Blue, while Gohan went and powered up to his max form with his Mystic and both of them rushed towards Beerus as Gohan went and grabbed him in an arm lock and from there Vegeta went and striked him in his stomach. Their battle was getting very intense as it was shaking the entire earth and even the galaxy. Mirrors has now arrived as he saw Whis and he said, Uh, hello Mirrors, how have you been? Oh, hello master, but also Whis. Look at this, Beerus has already started fighting, but I don't see Goku fighting. You are right, Mirrors. I thought that Goku might go and rush at Beerus first, but looks like he's a smart one. He's standing right there observing everything. I cannot wait to see what Goku has achieved throughout his training with you. While Gohan and Vegeta were fighting Beerus, Goku was watching from the side as he continued to absorb every one of Beerus' moves so he could use it towards his advantage. Beerus then went and headbutt Vegeta as he went and strike Gohan but Gohan went and dodged him and from there, Broly came out of nowhere as he powered up an eraser cannon and he aimed it right towards Beerus. Once when it hit him, the smoke cleared as everyone saw that Beerus has powered up to 100% of his normal power and from there he came right behind Broly and he striked him down. Broly passed out as Beerus looked towards Gohan and he went and started to attack Gohan. Beerus then went and punched Gohan in the stomach and threw him towards the air as he was about to throw a blast but from there, Goku went and kicked Beerus right in his face as Beerus flew a couple meters away and when he looked towards Goku he then said, Looks like you want to fight me now huh Saiyan? <laughs> okay then bring it, but I'll tell you this Beerus, I'm not gonna hold anything back. Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan 2 Blue as him and Beerus stared at one another and from there their battle has begun. Goku went towards Beerus as he striked him but Beerus managed to go and hold his fist and he went and hit Goku right back as he started to go at it. While Beerus was using full power, Goku started to do the same and from there both of them were going at it as they were equally tied. Whis and Mirrors were too busy watching a battle but from there they got a call from no one other than the Grand Priest as he wanted to see them as soon as possible so they left the battlefield to go visit the Grand Priest. While Goku and Beerus were going at it until Goku started to go and overpower Beerus and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus then went and powered up an attack to throw it towards Goku. At the same time Goku went and he powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and he threw it towards Beerus attack as it pushed Beerus towards the corner and from there Beerus managed to go and disperse the attack as everyone saw that Beerus was glowing and he has now tapped in into his Ultra Instinct. 
You're great, Saiyan. I have never thought I'll go all out against you. But now, it's time I put an end towards you and this world. Beerus came right in front of Goku, as Goku didn't see him coming and from there, he went and decked him right in the chest, causing Goku to be sent flying, but from there Beerus came right behind him and kicked him high in the air, causing Goku to be sent flying towards outer space. Beerus quickly followed Goku, as he went and he began to hit Goku non-stop, and before you know it, Goku was getting beat up by Beerus, as he didn't stand a chance against Beerus' Ultra Instinct. Beerus was impressed with Goku's power that he was able to push him to use Ultra Instinct. He then looked towards Goku and said, You're good Saiyan, but I'm still holding a lot of power back. You don't stand a chance against me. Here I thought that this Saiyan that's born with God Key would turn out to be a challenge, but you turn out to be nothing but a disappointment. Tell me, what is this power you're using? I'm a god. This is our technique called the Ultra Instinct. Now Saiyan, it's time I put an end to this. Say goodbye to Earth, as Beerus went and he powered up an enormous attack to throw it towards Goku. While Goku stood right in front of planet Earth, he then went and caught the blast as it was pushing Goku towards Earth but he went and put every ounce of power he had within himself to try to go and stop the blast from hitting planet Earth. Doing so caused Goku to lose all of his power as he went right back to his base but he was still holding off Beerus' attack. Beerus then came right next to Goku and said, it's over Saiyan, you did well but as a result, I will either destroy you or your planet and for that, I guess you will be destroyed. Say goodbye. As Beerus brought his hand towards Goku and he was about to go and Hakai him. But before he can, Gohan has come right in front of Goku. As he stood there and he took in the Hakai blast from Beerus, Goku saw that and said, Gohan! No! What are you doing? Father! Please, take care of Adele for me. Goodbye, father. As Gohan has got erased right in front of Goku. Upon seeing that, Goku had no idea just what did Beerus do, but he couldn't control himself as he sensed that Gohan was gone from this planet and from this world, and he began to have a lot of emotions pouring out. And from there, Goku said, No! Gohan! And before you know it, Goku has gone and screamed. Due to seeing his son die right in front of him, as he has sacrificed himself so his father could live on to be the greatest hero for planet earth, Goku has managed to go and push to new heights and new strength, as he has now went and transformed into his Super Saiyan 3 Blue. Goku has now transformed into a new power which no one has ever seen before as he managed to go and take his Super Saiyan Blue to the next level which was Super Saiyan Blue 3. Beerus was just confused on seeing Goku as he had no idea just how powerful Goku's Super Saiyan 3 Blue power was and he said, well well, looks like this new power of yours is really intimidating Saiyan, I think you may actually go somewhere, you're done Beerus. After what he did to my son, I'll end you. That's the promise I made. You watch and see! Oh yeah? If that's so then, why don't you come and show me what he can do? Before Beerus can finish his sentence, Goku managed to come right in front of him and he striked him right in his face as he got sent flying towards the sun. Beerus tried to stop himself from touching the sun but before he can, Goku has come right behind him and he decked him in his back again with his speed and he went right in front of Beerus and hit him again and he continued to do that like if Beerus was some type of ping pong. 
Beerus started to get annoyed as he went and he threw a punch towards Goku but Goku caught it and he went and repelled it as he punched him right back and he started to beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus had no idea just how powerful Goku's Super Saiyan 3 blue power was as he was very overwhelmed by his power while Goku was fighting with Beerus. Vegeta and the rest of the Z fighters didn't know what to do or how to react to Gohan's death as they were all in shock but then they got a grip of themselves. From there Vegeta said, look guys, we need to help Kakarot in case he needs us. It's time to take that bastard down once and for all, otherwise that destroyer is going to go and destroy this world. Before they can proceed to help Goku, they saw that Beerus was slammed towards the ground with high pressure as he got decked by Goku from space. But from there Goku went and he flew towards Beerus as he went and he striked him right in his stomach causing Beerus to be in pain. From there he went and he picked Beerus up by his head and said, What's the matter Beerus? Is that all you got? Here I thought that you'll make me pay but instead, you cannot even get up. Beerus got angry as he powered up and he managed to push Goku away and said, Shut the hell up Saiyan, I'm not done yet, I'll erase you just like I did to your son for being so arrogant. Erase? Is that what you did to Gohan? That's right Saiyan, I have erased him from existence and there's no coming back to that. You'll pay for that! As Goku and Beerus rush at each other and their power clash with one another. With each blow they were landing, it was affecting planet Earth. As Goku noticed that and from there he went and he hit Beerus right in his stomach and he went and caught him by his tail, picked him up and kneed him from the back. As Beerus did a backflip and he went and kicked Goku in his head but Goku wasn't even phased by Beerus attack. As he went and he striked him again and he started to overpower Beerus. Beerus was completely powerless against Goku as he didn't know what to do and from there, Goku went and hit him down as he fell towards the ground. Once when Beerus looked up, he saw that Goku was coming towards him as he powered up a one hand Kamehameha wave and he said, It's over Beerus, I'll end you where you stand. You're strong Saiyan, you managed to go and beat me, but you have one problem, you're done. Go to hell where you belong. Before Goku can land the finishing blow to kill Beerus, Goku's power got dispersed as he fell towards his knee and he began to feel pain in his body. Due to Goku lacking the key, he wasn't able to sustain the incredible power of Super Saiyan 3 Blue and before Goku knows it, he went right back to his Super Saiyan Blue. Beerus saw that as he saw that this was his opportunity and he said, Well well Saiyan. You were very close, I can tell I was about to die but you made the wrong move and now it's time for me to go and end you. Turns out your mortal body ran out of ki faster than you noticed. Beerus went and he kicked Goku hard in the face as he flew across the land. Damn it! We were so close! No! Guys, we need to help Goku. Come on, let's go give him the help he needs. You're right, we will all fight together and take him down. And if that doesn't work then we'll die together. Goku got up and said, Damn it! Oh, I was so close but my body, it didn't have the key to sustain Super Saiyan 3 Blue. Goku saw that Beerus came right next to him and he said, It's sad Saiyan, you cannot even avenge your son. As he went and he hit Goku in the back and from there he started to beat the shit out of Goku. Beerus went and kneed Goku in the face. And from there he went and decked him towards the ground. Before he can do anything, he got kicked in the face by Broly. As he saw that Broly, Vegeta and even Piccolo has arrived to the battle. Beerus, mark my word, you're going to die here today. We'll do everything we can to stop you. Looks like I'll need to deal with you guys first. Beerus went and he rushed towards Broly. As he striked him but from there Broly went and dodged his attack and he went and hit Beerus back. As Vegeta came to aid him and both of them went and started to attack Beerus. Piccolo went and he tried to throw an attack towards Beerus but before he can, Beerus came and decked him hard to the ground. As he fell and from there Beerus went and picked him up and threw him in the air. Before he can go and throw a blast towards Piccolo, Broly went and grabbed Beerus as Vegeta came from the back and he started to attack him. Piccolo saw that Goku was down for the count. As he got up and said, Goku get up. You need to avenge Gohan, are you going to let his sacrifice be in vain? 
While Piccolo was doing that, Vegeta and Broly were doing everything they can to slow Beerus down from destroying planet Earth. As Piccolo had an idea and from there he went and talked to Dende and asked him to gather the energy from the rest of the Z fighters so they can send that energy towards Goku. Dende proceeded to go and gather everybody's energy as he asked the Z fighters to send their energy towards Goku. While Goku was down, he then saw a vision of Gohan standing there and said, Father, I believe in you. I know you can do this. Gohan? I promise I'll bring you back, son, one way or another. As Goku got up, and from there Beerus saw that Vegeta and Broly were teaming up together trying to attack him, but out of nowhere, Goku went and he used his Super Saiyan 2 blue power, and he rushed towards Beerus as he came to aid them in their battle. He then went and kicked Beerus in the face, causing Beerus to fly towards the rocks. Once when he got up, he saw that Goku was back on his feet and said, Well, well, looks like you're back on your feet, Saiyan, huh? You don't know when to quit. Okay then, it's time I put an end to Earth and destroy everything once and for all, and all you guys in it. Beerus then went and powered up an enormous attack. He went and threw it towards planet Earth. Goku flew towards Beerus' attack as he caught it, and from there, he was trying hard to make sure it won't touch planet Earth. While Goku was trying to hold off the attack, Broly and Vegeta saw that an enormous energy came right next to Piccolo. As he finished gathering all the energy he needed and from there he told Vegeta and Broly to pour their energy towards the attack. Both Vegeta and Broly poured every ounce of their power towards the ball as it increased massively. And from there Vegeta went and took the ball and he threw it towards Goku. While Goku was about to slip from Beerus' attack, as it was too strong for him to handle in his current state, and he said, I'm sorry, Gohan. I failed you, son. But I'll be joining you very soon. Out of nowhere, Goku felt a huge power boost hit him, as his ki has been restored back to 100%, and from there, he said, Wow! Thanks, guys! You guys did it! Kakarot! End the bastard now! We gave you all of our power, don't let us down! Thanks, Vegeta. I owe you guys. <laughs> Goku has transformed back to his Super Saiyan 3 Blue as he managed to go and disperse Beerus' attack. Upon seeing that, God Beerus very nervous as he said, What? How did you get your power back? It's all thanks to my friends, Beerus. Now it's time I put an end to you, what do you say? Long hair or not, you'll still die by me. As Beerus went and he rushed towards Goku and he tried to strike him but Goku went and headbutt him, causing Beerus to be sent flying towards outer space. Goku flew there as he managed to get right next to Beerus and from there, Beerus went and tried to Hakai Goku but before he can, Goku went and caught his hand and he twisted it. As he broke Beerus' hand and he went and started to beat the shit out of Beerus by punching in his face non-stop. Beerus was completely drained of power as he had no energy to continue his battle due to Super Saiyan 3 Blue Goku being far superior towards him and from there Goku said, This is for you Gohan. He then went and rushed towards Beerus and unleashed a new attack called Dragon Fist. As it pierced through Beerus' guts and from there Beerus' entire body got exploded by Goku's Dragon Fist. He managed to go and kill Beerus with his Super Saiyan 3 Blue Power. Thanks to the Z Fighters and Goku, they managed to go and avenge Gohan and put an end to Beerus before he could have gone and destroyed the entire Earth. Out of nowhere, Whis and Dai Shinken along with Mirrors has appeared right next to Goku. As Goku turned around and he saw them and from there Mirrors said, Wow Goku, your power is amazing! Oh my! To think a mortal can reel such power. Whis! Miris! Something happened to Gohan. Beerus has done something and from there he has been erased. Hmm, I see. It would appear that Beerus has erased Gohan from a attack called the Hakai. Something that only the destroyers knows how to use. What? His Hakai? What is that Whis? It's a very dangerous attack that only gods can have the power that can wield it. More specifically, God of Destruction can use this power and erase anything from existence. I can use a Dragon Ball to wish him back, can't I not? Unfortunately, no you can't. Goku, 
Once when he's been Hakai, his body, soul, and everything cease to exist. What? No! So you tell me Gohan's gone forever? I'm sorry, Goku, but that's the price of a Hakai. Unless you guys use the Super Dragon Balls, then you can bring him back. Super Dragon Balls? What are those? And also, who are you? He is the Grand Minister, the father of all angel, and you could say the strongest one in this multiverse. His name is Dai Shinken. That is right, Goku. I am very pleased by your battle and your power. And also, I could tell you how to bring your son back. That is by using the Super Dragon Ball. Whis went and he took everyone right back to where the Z Fighters were, as Goku went and he instant transmission everybody to Boma's place. Once when they got there, they all then proceeded to tell Whis about everything that happened and from there Whis told them about the Super Dragon Balls as he said, these Dragon Balls are actually one and only first Dragon Ball to ever exist in the multiverse. They have the power to, to wish for anything you guys want. You can even ask for it to kill me, or even the Omni King himself, and it will do it. Wow, so that's how powerful these Dragon Balls are. <laughs> that's impressive. So we could bring Gohan back with those, right? Yes, it can bring Gohan back. Everyone then made plans to go and try to gather the Super Dragon Balls and wish for Gohan to come back, as Bulma decided to go and make the Super Dragon Ball radar so that it can detect where the Dragon Balls are. Daishigen then said, Well, it is time now to replace Beerus. Since you're the one to kill him, Goku, you will have to be the next destroyer. What? Me? No way! I don't want to be one! I'm happy where I am! Well, you did kill him, and the only time a destroyer becomes a destroyer is either they are handpicked by the previous destroyer, or someone has killed the present destroyer. Aw, oh, man! Can I not be one? I have too much to do, and I don't want to be a destroyer. Well, there is one way where we can have you not be a destroyer, but instead it can work out. Vegeta can take your place and be the destroyer, and therefore you can be the backup destroyer and Mirrors can be your angel. What? Me backup? Yes, you will be the destroyer and Mirrors will be your angel, while Vegeta will be the legit destroyer for Universe 7 and Whis will be his attendant. Your universe will be the first universe to ever have two destroyers. Hmm, okay then, I guess I can live with that. <laughs> I'm sorry Vegeta, are you cool with this? Do I even have a choice? I'm fine, I don't care really. As long as I have Whis with me, I'll be able to surpass you one day Kakarot. <laughs> sure Vegeta, whatever makes you go to sleep. They then decide to go and start searching for the Super Dragon Balls, but before they can, Zeno, the king of everything, has now appeared right in front of them, as they all saw them and from there Whis and Mirrors got very scared while Dai Shiken went and he bowed down to him. Goku was very confused at first but then Dai Shiken told him that Zeno was the Omni King and he said, You guys fought a destroyer and killed him. It looked fun. Maybe we can do something where we have everyone fighting in one area so I can see everyone power. No freaking way. You mean something like the tournament? That would be so awesome, man! As Zeno had a liking for Goku and from there, he told him that he'll go and hold a tournament very soon and that the winners will go and get the Super Dragon Balls and wish for whatever they want. Until then, he will have possession of the Super Dragon Balls. Hearing that got Goku a little bit upset that he isn't able to bring Gohan back right now, but he was very excited for the tournament to begin so he can go and fight the strongest opponent in the multiverse all fighting him. Just hearing that thought got Goku very excited. Vegeta then left right back to his planet as he began doing his training to become destroyer and Goku joined him so he can also train to become one too although he is not a destroyer, he is a substitute destroyer. Meanwhile, Chi Chi had to come to grip a losing Gohan along with Videl but Goku told him that he will bring them back with the Super Dragon Ball. While that was happening, inside future Trunks' timeline, Trunks was running away as he quickly entered his time machine and he left his timeline, making his way back to the present timeline for help. Goku and everyone were training 
as Goku was inside Vegeta's world and both of them were doing their destroyer training while Broly and everyone else were on planet Earth doing their own training. Out of nowhere, Trunks has crash landed on Capsule Corp. Boma saw that as she quickly went to aid him and from there she went and tried to get a hold of Goku and Vegeta and told them to come to planet Earth. Goku and Vegeta paused the training as they quickly went and made their way towards planet Earth. Upon their arrival, Goku went and gave Trunks a sense of being. Once when he ate it, he woke up as he saw Goku and he began to freak out and from there he went and tried to strike Goku. But Vegeta caught his fist and told him to calm down. Trunks then calmed down and told him everything that happened and that there was a man that looks completely like Goku and he was killing everyone that was inside his timeline and he didn't know what to do and from there. The skies went dark as heavy winds started to blow everywhere and from there they saw a black hole has appeared as they saw Goku Black has emerged out of the black hole. Well, well, so this is where you've been hiding, mortal. Oh, look at this. We got Goku here. It's a pleasant seeing you, Goku. Who are you? And why do you look like me? <laughs> well, I am you, Goku. Let's dance. Before he can react, Goku flew towards him as he went and striked him in his face and he got sent flying meters away and from there, their battle has begun. Goku and Goku Black were going at it as they continued to attack one another and they were equally tight as both of them went and land blow to blow. Goku then decided to go and use more power but before he can, Goku's Black Time Ring began to react as it got him sucked right back into his own timeline. Whis and Mirage noticed that he had a Time Ring and from there, they told Goku and Vegeta about it and now they left to Universe 10 to get some answers. Once when they got to the Universe 10, they then saw the Supreme Kai named Goasu as he saw Whis and he was surprised to also see that Goku and Vegeta were there with him. When they saw Goku, they got a little bit nervous since they heard that Goku was the one who killed Beerus and they saw it all through God Tube. From there, Zamasu saw Goku as he didn't like Goku and that he didn't like the fact that he was a mortal who was stronger than a god. Goasu told Goku that Zamasu is the strongest Supreme Kai. Upon hearing that got Goku very curious to spar with him so he can see just how powerful Zamasu is. At first Zamasu said no but Goasu told him to do it and from there he went and he began to attack Goku. But Goku went and easily knocked him out as he fell to the ground and he felt very embarrassed. While Whis got all the information he needed and from there they all decide to leave as they came right back to the universe and from there. Goku decided to go to Future Trunks' timeline so he could put an end to Goku Black. Vegeta and Broly want to come too as they all left and now they have now arrived to Future Trunks' timeline. Upon seeing everything destroyed, Goku got very upset and said, Hmm, to think someone with my face will do something as evil as this. <laughs> if I get a chance Kakarot, I'll be the one to kill him. I don't know guys, this guy is just something else. I would love for all of us to attack him at once and destroy him. Out of nowhere, Goku Black has appeared as he sensed their power and he came right towards him and said, Well, well, looks like you guys made it. What can I expect from mortals? Breaking rule and always going back and forth playing with time. Oh, shut up you pathetic god. I'll be the one to end you myself. Hmm, Vegeta the Destroyer wants to fight me. Okay then, bring it on, mortal. Vegeta went and he rushed towards Goku Black and striked him in his face as he started to attack him non-stop while Goku Black smiled and he said, Is that all you got? If so, I'll be scared if I were you. Goku, are you ready to see the true power of a god? Well then, look at this. Say what? <laughs> What do you think? Sticking with the color you guys give your form, you can call this Rosé. That's right, I have finally reached the level of Super Saiyan Rosé 3.
and from there their battle has begun, as both of them went and they charged at each other and their power clashed with one another. While they were attacking each other, planet earth couldn't handle their power as it was too much for them, and from there, Vegeta decided to go and he wanted to help them but out of nowhere, he got kicked in the back as they saw that it was no one other than Zamasu and he has arrived and said, how dare a mortal try to interfere with our project, huh? Zamasu! You snake! I should have known you're behind this! Vegeta has came right in front of Zamasu and he punched him in his face and he started to overpower him. He then went and powered up a galley gun to kill him as he threw the wave towards him but he saw that Zamasu went and he instantly healed himself. Turns out Zamasu went and used the super dragon balls to make himself immortal. While Goku Black looked towards Goku and said, You're probably wondering why we look alike, don't you? Huh? Well, it did come to my mind. Why do you look like me? Well, that is because I am Zamasu. I used the Super Dragon Balls to switch bodies with you. And once when I did that, I went and killed your family. Upon hearing that got Goku very angry, as he couldn't control himself and from there he went and let out a scream as Goku powered up to full and he went and striked Goku Black in his face and he started to beat the shit out of him. While Vegeta and Broly were attacking Zamasu, upon seeing that he was being overpowered, Goku Black went and kneed Goku in his face as he instant transmission right next towards Zamasu and he said, We need to fuse, let's show them our true power. Okay then, we should do it right now. <laughs> now it's our time to activate Project Zero Mortals. Not if I'm around. Goku went and rushed towards Zamasu as he tried to hit him, but from there Zamasu went and striked him, causing Goku to fall towards the ground. Vegeta and Broly came right next to Goku as he got up, and all three of them went and they powered up to their fall, and they rushed towards Zamasu as they started to attack him. Trunks decided to come in as he went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Rage and he joined their battle as all four of them went and they were attacking Zamasu but Zamasu was holding his own as he looked towards him and said, You guys are pathetic, is that all you got? Zamasu then went and attacked Goku as he beat the shit out of him and he threw him towards the ground. Goku went right back to his base while Vegeta and Broly were trying to hold him off and they noticed that Zamasu was too strong for them. Goku then got up and he saw that this planet didn't have much life force, so he went and powered up a universal spirit bomb. As he asked all the life forces that were inside this universe to share their energy with him so he can kill Zamasu once and for all, while Zamasu was beating the light out of Vegeta. Broly then went and grabbed him by his stomach and threw him towards the ground as Zamasu tried to go and brush him off and from there Vegeta got angry as he started to glow and he said, How dare you touch me! You should know who I am! Out of nowhere, Vegeta saw a giant ball of energy as he noticed that Goku was powering the ball up and he told everyone to move out of the way as he went and he threw the spear bomb towards Zamasu. Zamasu went and he caught it as he tried to repel the spear bomb back right towards Goku and from there both of them were going at it but Goku lost the battle as he got hit by the spear bomb head on and from there Goku went to a shockwave as the spear bomb exploded and they saw Goku has disappeared. Upon seeing that everyone got despaired seeing that Goku has died and that they had no idea what to do, while Zamasu began to laugh and said, <laughs> You see this is what happens when mortal tries to fight with me. Vegeta got really angry seeing that Goku has died as he used that emotion towards his advantage Vegeta has now tapped in to his destroyer key as he looked towards Zamasu and said, You're fighting me Zamasu, you're just a Kai, I am a destroyer, Vegeta! <music> Vegeta. 
Vegeta has now used his destroyer key, which he managed to gain during his training with Whis. As he went and he rushed towards Zamasu, and he started to attack him. Vegeta then went and striked him right in his face as it caused Zamasu to be sent flying meters away. Zamasu managed to stop himself but when he looked up he saw that Vegeta came as he powered up a Hakai wave and he threw it towards him. But Zamasu managed to go and dodge the attack as he fell towards the ground. Once when he got up, he then went and used one of his attack called Blades of Justice as it went and hit Vegeta but Vegeta managed to go and brush it off and said, you won't beat me Zamasu, I may not know the full extent of my Hakai but I will learn it during this fight and I'll make you to be the first person I ever Hakai. As Vegeta went and charged towards Zamasu and he went and put all of his energy towards his fist as he went and decked him right in his face. Vegeta's impact was very high as it caused Zamasu to have some purple like goo coming down from his face and said, how dare a mortal touch a god! It's my fault for not taking this battle seriously! You wanna talk about all this god stuff, but you need to learn your place, Kai! You're just a Kai and I'm a destroyer! I am far ahead of you! Zamasu went and he powered up to full power. As he went and rushed towards Vegeta, while Vegeta did the same and both of their power clashed with one another. Zamasu began to have the upper hand as he started to beat the shit out of Vegeta. Vegeta had one more attack up his sleeve, but then he got stabbed in the heart by Zamasu as he began to bleed and he said, It's time we end this mortal. Zamasu then went and threw Vegeta towards the ground as he was about to go and power up a massive attack to kill Vegeta. But before he can do that, a bright light has shined right next to them as they all saw Goku has now returned. <laughs> Goku has tapped in to a new high divine power as he managed to achieve something called the Ultra Instinct for the very first time. Zamasu had no idea or how to react towards Goku's new power and he said, What? What is this power? Answer me! Before Zamasu can blink, he saw that Goku flew towards him as he came right in front of his face. And from there he went and powered up his fist and striked Zamasu hard, causing him to be sent flying meters away as he crashed towards the buildings. Zamasu got up as he didn't know what just happened but before he can react, Goku came right next to Zamasu and he started to get angry but Goku went and started to dodge each and every one of Zamasu's attack. Zamasu tried everything he can to hit Goku but Goku was too fast for him as he couldn't even touch Goku. From there, Goku went and he uppercut Zamasu as he got him sent flying meters away and before he can do anything, Goku came right next to him as he went and strike Zamasu down. Zamasu fell to the ground but he saw that Goku came, took his face and smashed it again as he began to have more purple like goo coming out of his face and he said, What power is this? I may not know the power that I'm using but what I do know is this power is what I need to end you here and now. I'll be the one to end you, Goku! Zamasu then went and powered up a strong blast, strong enough to destroy the entire planet, as he managed to go and throw it towards Goku. But Goku went and powered up his own Kamehameha wave, and he threw it towards Zamasu's attack, as he managed to get his attack dispersed, and from there, combining Zamasu's attack and Goku's Kamehameha wave, he went and hit Zamasu head on, as Zamasu couldn't stop the blast, and before you know it, his body exploded causing him to die. Although Zamasu died, his soul lived on as he managed to go and surround the entire planet and he began to go and absorb the energy and destroy it. Goku went right back to his base as he saw what was going on and from there Vegeta said, Kakarot, power up your Hawkeye wave, we will combine it together and erase him off. Yeah, that's a good idea, let's do it. As both Goku and Vegeta went and they powered up a Hawkeye wave combining it into one attack and they released it on Zamasu. It then went and hit him as the wave was strong enough to go and erase him from existence. They have managed to put an end towards Zamasu as Goku and the rest of the Z fighters came right back towards their timeline. But when they came back, 
Everyone was very exhausted as Goku told Weeds and Mirrors about what happened and he also told them about his new power. Upon hearing about Goku's power, Weeze was very excited and he said, Are you for real? But I need to see it Goku in order to believe it. I believe you finally achieved it Goku. It is called the Ultra Instinct. Oh really? So that's what it's called, Ultra Instinct, huh? I never knew this power is just so amazing, it's unbelievable! Vegeta then told Whis to take him to Universe 10 as Goku wanted to come with him and from there he went towards their universe as they saw Zamasu and Vegeta went and powered up a final flash and he killed him where he stood. They then came right back as they started to go right back towards their regular routine and they had time to go and relax. Whis has sent Trunks right back to his timeline to a time where Goku Black never existed as Trunks said his farewell and he left right back. Couple of weeks has passed since they destroyed Zamasu. Goku was training with Whis and Mirrors every day as he was trying to regain his Ultra Instinct. Goku then got a call from Zeno as he wanted to see him and he left with Supreme Kai and Mirrors to go and visit the Omni King. Once when he got there, Zeno was very happy to see Goku as he told him about his plan about holding the Tournament of Power and that he wanted to see all the universe fighting one another. Goku was very excited on hearing this idea and he said, No way! I cannot wait! I'm gonna make sure I win this tournament of power and I'll bring Gohan back with the Super Dragon Balls. No matter what son, I promise you I'll bring you back. Goku went right back to his universe as Dai Shinkin came and told him about the rules and that they needed 10 fighters. He also told him that Zeno wanted to see an exhibition match so that he can see how powerful Goku is and he told Goku to bring 3 people. Due to Vegeta being a destroyer, he wasn't allowed to be inside a tournament of power but because he wasn't a fully destroyer and he didn't know how to use his Hakai just yet, he was allowed to participate inside the tournament of power. Goku went and brought Broly and Android 16 to be with him inside the exhibition match as they went and they entered it. From there, Android 16 went and he fought his opponent as he easily beaten him while Broly went and fought Neck as he also defeated his opponent. Goku was the final one to fight as he went and he fought with his opponent and he didn't stand a chance against Goku as Goku easily mopped the floor with him and before he knows it, he got knocked out. Goku's team has won the exhibition match as they were very happy and Zeno was amazed with seeing how powerful Goku was but before they can leave, Vermont saw that as everyone declared Goku to be one of the strongest mortal but he said, <laughs> I wouldn't say he's the strongest just yet. He hasn't fight my strongest of fighter just yet. He is the heart and soul of Universe 11. His name is Jiren. My Lord Zeno, if you would allow us, can we see a quick match maybe 5 minutes between Goku and Jiren? Okay, I'll allow it. Goku got a little bit excited as he entered the arena and from there he saw Universe 11 strongest warrior has entered and his name was Jiren. As he entered the arena and from there his key started to pour out. Upon sensing his key, Goku got a little bit shooken as he said, Whoa, this guy's power is unbelievable. <laughs> I cannot wait to fight him. Goku and Jiren start to stare at each other. From there, Goku went and he rushed towards Jiren as he started to attack him with everything he had but he saw that it didn't even phase Jiren as it hardly moved him away and from there, he went and kneed Goku right in the stomach as it caused him to be sent flying out of the arena. Everyone saw that as Goku got up and he was about to go serious but then Daishiken said, That is enough. We will need to continue this inside a tournament of power. This match is something we all will be looking forward to. I'll be the one to claim the Super Dragon Balls. They're mine. We'll see about that, Jiren. I won't let anyone get in my way to get the Super Dragon Ball. Jiren went right back to his stand as they left right back to their universe and Goku did the same. Goku was very excited to fight Jiren again inside the tournament of power and he began to strategize on how he will take down Jiren. From there he had 10 days to go and train with Mirrors and Whis as Goku did that and from there 10 days has passed as the time for the tournament of power was arriving. Everyone made plans to stick together and survive this tournament for Gohan and make sure they wish him back. Mirrors has arrived with two fighters as Goku saw it was Raditz and Goten. 
Turns out they have been training with Mirus this whole time since Goku met Beerus and now the day has come for them to go and display their training. Whis then went and called Dai Shige to tell him that they're ready for the tournament. The fighters for Universe 7 are Krillin, Master Roshi, Android 16, Android 17, Android 18, Radis, Piccolo, Vegeta, Broly, and Goku, as the tournament of power has now begun. Once when everyone got there, they were getting overwhelmed as Goku was very excited to see all the fighters, but he had his one target, and that was no one other than Jiren. And at the same time, Goku's mindset was, he is going to bring back Gohan at any cost. Dai Shinken has come as he went and explained the rules to everyone and now the tournament of power has begun. All the universe went and they started to fight each other, while Goku set his eyes on one fighter and he knew that in order to get the super Dragon Balls, he'll need to take Jiren out. Universe 9 went and started to team up on Universe 7, as they didn't like Universe 7 and they tried to eliminate them, but the androids for Universe 7 went and took care of them, as Android 16, 17, 18 went and eliminated them all by themselves. Once when the universe got out, Zeno went and erased their entire universe. Upon seeing that, everyone got very shook as they woke him up and they told him that it is time for them to not mess around and take this battle very seriously. They all continued to fight while Goku was fighting his way and from there he went and strike one opponent as that opponent got eliminated but when Goku landed, he saw Jiren was right there as he stared towards Goku and Goku stared towards him. The tournament of power was underway, as everyone continued their battle. They tried to do whatever they can to survive this round, so that their universe can win and get the super dragon balls. While that was happening, universe 3 were desperate to win the tournament of power, so they went and did a fusion, becoming Analaza. Analaza's power was overwhelming everyone that was there, as his power continued to grow as he pretty much shook the entire tournament. Analaza then went and started to eliminate all the fighters that were in his way, until Broly, Radis, Piccolo and the androids has come to stop him. Radis has gone and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue, while Piccolo went and used his full power along with the androids and they all went and started to throw a blast towards Analaza. But Analaza was too strong for their attack that it didn't even phase him and before anything can happen, Broly came in and he screamed. Broly has used his legendary Super Saiyan as he went and he attacked Analaza with the rest of the Z fighters and they managed to go and eliminate Analaza. From there, Hit the Assassin from Universe 6 came to fight as Android 17 saw him and from there he went and striked Hit as their battle has now begun. While Cal and Khalifa had a trick up their sleeve and were told by their destroyer to go and fuse so they can beat Universe 7 since Jumpa had a grudge towards them because they were the universe that killed his brother Beerus. Broly then went towards Kefla as he started to attack her. While that was happening, Android 17 and Hit were going all out as both of them were landing blow to blow until Piccolo came to aid him and with Piccolo's help, Android 17 managed to go and eliminate Hits from the tournament. Vegeta at the same time was about to go and help Goku fight Jiren but from there, he got stopped by no one other than Topo, who was soon to be a destroyer. He then said, You aren't going anywhere! I'm gonna make sure I beat you! <laughs> Bring it on, Mustache! As their battle has now begun, Goku and Jiren battle was set to happen, as both of them went and they continued to stare at one another. And from there, Goku looked towards Jiren and said, Are you ready to settle this once and for all? Jiren! Jiren, this is it. This is the time for you to go and display your power. Let the entire universe see how powerful you are. We know that Son Goku was the mortal that was born with God Ki 
and he's the one who killed Beerus. But you worked your way up to get God Key, and it's time to show off, Jaren. Time has now called for desperate measures. Go and claim the Super Dragon Balls by crushing Son Goku. I understand, my lord. From there, their battle has now begun. Goku went and he screamed. Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan 3 Blue as he stared towards Jaren and before you know it, Goku went and charged at him as he went and he striked Jaren in his face but he quickly went and retaliated and striked Goku back and both of them were going at it as they're both landing blow to blow. <laughs> you're good Jaren, I could tell that you're far stronger than anyone I have fought but I still got far more power within me. <laughs> you say that like if I should be scared. While that was happening, Topo and Vegeta were going all out as they both continued to power up and attack one another. From there, Topo then went and went and used his destroyer mode. I'll be the one to destroy you myself! Vegeta smirked and said, <laughs> We'll see about that! <laughs> Vegeta has now gone and he has transformed his Super Saiyan Blue power mixing with his Destroyer Key. As he has now fully mastered his Destroyer Key to its full extent and he managed to go and mix it with his Super Saiyan Blue. From there Vegeta went and striked Topo in his face as he got sent flying meters away. He then tried to go and attack Vegeta but before he can react, Vegeta came right in front of him as he caught Topo by his face and started to punch it non-stop. He then went and kicked him in the air and before he knows it, Vegeta powered up a final flash and threw it towards Topo, causing it to be sent flying towards the bleachers. Kefla tried to hold her own against Broly, but Broly's legendary Super Saiyan power was too much for her to handle, as she didn't stand a chance against him and from there he said, You're good, but you don't stand a chance against me, now I'll have to end this so we can save my universe. Broly then went and powered up an eraser cannon and he threw it towards Kefla as it hit her head on and she got sent flying out of the arena. While Android 17 did whatever he can with Raditz to beat any opponent that came in their way. It's time we put an end to this warrior. Jaren then went and used his quick speed towards his advantage as he went and he powered up an eyeglass and he aimed it towards Goku. It then went and hit Goku head on but Goku got right back up as he went and flew towards Jaren and both of their power clashed with one another as they were going at it. Goku then went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he aimed it towards Jaren, but Jaren was able to easily dodge the Kamehameha wave. And before Goku can blink, Jaren has come right in front of him as he was glowing and from there he said, You're good Goku, but is that all you got? How pathetic. Jaren went and caught Goku by his fist and he blasted him away, causing Goku to go and crash towards the rocks. Once when Goku got up, he then said, It's over when I say it's over, Jaren. As Goku has gone right back to his base and from there he went and used his Ultra Instinct. Jaren and the rest of the gods were surprised to see that but before anything could happen, Goku got right in front of Jaren as he was about to strike him but from there someone went and blasted Jaren from the back, leaving a mark on his gi. He then got very angry as he turned around to see who did it and from there, Goku looked at the person that did it and said, What? Oh my god! No way! What is this? Huh? Is my eyes playing tricks on me? What is that? No way! But how? Is it really him? Hmm, this is very strange. I don't know what to say about this. Only thing I could say is, how? 
How indeed? I don't know myself how to react to this. Hey you, stay away from my father or else I'll make sure I beat you into a pulp. Gohan? Is that really you? Yes father, I have come back, but now is not the time to celebrate. We must deal with him. Hey, Grand Priest, isn't that cheating? They got more than 10 fighters. And now I'll allow it, only this time. Before Goku can say anything, Jiren has come right in front of Gohan as he went and he punched him in his face non-stop. Goku got angry as he rushed towards Jiren and he kicked him off from Gohan and from there he said, Son, how? I'm very confused. I missed you father, but now is not the time, we'll deal with it later. Let's go and attack Jiren and make sure our universe survive. <laughs> you got it son, let's do it together. Vegeta and Broly has also come right next to Goku and Gohan as Vegeta looked towards him and said, we got a lot of talking to do, Gohan. <laughs> nice to see you too, Vegeta. I'm so confused. How is Gohan alive? This is the end of you, Jiren. You're gonna have to mess with all of us. Bring it on. Goku and everyone went and rushed towards Jiren as they started to attack him, but from there, Jiren went and dodged all of their attacks. He then went and squeezed Vegeta by his neck and he powered up a blast and he threw it right towards his face causing Vegeta to fall straight towards the ground. Goku then went and kicked him in his face as it got him sent flying towards Broly. While Broly went and picked Jiren up but before he can do anything, Jiren went and did a backflip as he went and kicked Broly right in his face and from there he went and did a flip as he kneed him right in the stomach and punched him out of the arena. Broly tried to brush it off but Jiren went and powered up a attack and put it right towards Broly's stomach and said, It's over warrior as he blast him out of the arena. Gohan went and he powered up to his full mystic power as he rushed towards Jiren and he started to attack him but Jiren dodged all of his attack and said, you're as, as pathetic as your father, now sleep. As he went and headbutted Gohan, Gohan fell straight to his face but before anything could happen, he got right towards him and started to punch him non-stop. Goku came as he went and he hit Jiren away and both father and son worked together to try to stop Jiren. But Jiren went and kneed Goku in the guts and before he can land a blow on Goku, Gohan went and picked Jiren up as he was about to throw him towards the ground but Jiren went and elbowed Gohan right in his face causing Gohan to drop Jiren and from there he went and he grabbed Gohan by his face and he said, now it's time for you to stay down. Gohan no! Jiren went and blasted Gohan as he got sent flying out of the arena and he landed right towards the bleachers. Goku then went and striked Jiren, but Jiren went and caught his fist and said, You're next, Goku. You're by far the strongest opponent I have ever fought, Jiren. And that's coming from someone who has fought a lot of powerful opponent. <laughs> I could say likewise, but I have been proven to be the strongest one here. It is time I put an end to you for good and claim the Super Dragon Balls. You're a fool if you think you'll win because I'm far from being tapped out and I still got a trump card up my sleeve. Goku's body started to create a lot of heat as Jiren saw that and from there he said, now that my son is back, I want to end this battle as soon as possible so I can go home and celebrate with my family. <laughs> you won't win Goku. Well then let me show you my full power. Yeah! Goku has now transformed into his master ultra instinct as all the angels has got up to show respect to Goku. From there Goku looked towards Jiren and said, now let the real battle begin Jiren. Goku went and rushed towards Jiren as he left one of his hand up and he swung it. That one swing went and hit Jiren multiple times as he got sent flying towards the rock. Jiren didn't know how to react as Goku's power continued to grow and from there he went and charged towards Jiren as Jiren started to attack Goku non-stop but Goku dodged each and every one of his attack very easily. From there Goku continued to grow his power as he went and kneed Jiren in his face causing him to be sent flying towards the air. 
Jaren then went and powered up an enormous attack to throw it towards Goku. But Goku stood still as he went and caught the blast with one hand and he dispersed it. Upon seeing that got Jiren a bit nervous as Goku came right in front of him and he started to beat him up. Goku then went and threw Jiren towards the ground as he landed and once when he got up Jiren then said It's not possible! I cannot lose! I won't accept defeat! Jaren has now broke his limit, as he has went and used his limit breaker. He then went and walked towards Goku and from there, they both charged at each other as their power clashed with one another and they continued to go back and forth. With each landing blow, the entire arena was slowly getting destroyed as Goku and Jaren's power was too much for anything to handle. Goku then decided to go and use more power as he looked towards Jaren and said, You're very good Jaren. I never thought someone can push me this far in battle before. The same could be said about you, son Goku. But I told you this. I will be the one to claim the Super Dragon Balls. Now that my son came back, I don't need them. But what I do need is to live to see my family happy and to see my universe survive. And because of that, Jaren, I won't lose. Goku then went and he powered up to full power. As he went and rushed towards Jaren and decked him right in the stomach really hard causing Jiren to have trouble breathing and from there Jiren went and tried to hit Goku. But Goku at 100% was overpowering Jiren big time as he didn't stand a chance against him and from there Goku went and uppercut him, causing him to be sent flying towards the air and before he can react, Goku came right next to him as he striked him right in his back and he powered up a one hand Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Jiren as it went and hit him head on and he got sent flying out of the arena. Goku's Master Ultra Instinct power has proven to be the strongest power he has ever used as he's proven the entire multiverse that he is the strongest warrior. And from there he has now won the tournament of power. Jiren's universe was about to get erased but Goku looked towards him and said, Hey Jiren, I would love to fight you again. <laughs> Me too Goku. As his universe and him got erased by Zeno. I'm proud of you father. <laughs> Thanks son! That is really something Goku. In return you get to have the Super Dragon Balls. So tell me, what will be your wish? Well I was going to wish for Gohan to be brought back alive. But now that he's already alive, I guess I'll use my wish to restore all the universes that have been erased inside this tournament. Hmm, a very wise wish Goku. Call me impressed. And you know what? How's this? I'll train you sometime after. What? Really? Awesome! Daishinken went and made the wish as he has restored all the universes that were erased inside the tournament of power and they have come back. From there Goku went towards Gohan as both of them went and hugged each other and they had a father son moment. While Mirrors and Whis were there happy but they're also wondering how Gohan came back. Daishinken then came right next to Whis and Mirrors and he said, hmm, We have to talk about this guys but right now let's celebrate your universe has won the tournament of power. We got a lot to talk about son, but first let's go home and see our family. Videl and Pan and your mother will be very happy to see you. Me too father, I'm happy to be back. Thanks to Goku, he has now managed to go and save the multiverse as he's brought back each and every one of the universe that has been destroyed. In return Goku has also became the hero for the multiverse and he got his son back. Goku and everyone has come back as they all went to Goku's house and from there Goku said Chi Chi Videl come look look who's here as they all ran to see and they saw it was Gohan. They then began to cry out of joy as he couldn't be any more happier. Goten in the other hand was very happy to have his brother back and from there everyone threw a big party at Boma's place as they all celebrated Gohan's return. Whis, Mears and even Dai Shinken has come to be part of the celebration. 
while Dai Shinkin came to get Goku to come and train with him. Everyone then stopped partying as Goku looked towards Gohan and he said, How? Hmm? How did you survive, son? It doesn't make sense. I was right there. I saw that Beerus was about to Hakai me, but you came out of nowhere and stopped the blast. Tell me, Gohan, how did you come back? Dai Shinkin told me the only way you're able to come back is with the Super Dragon Balls. That is also my question. Gohan, how did you come back? To be honest with you guys, I really don't know myself. It was like a blur, and next thing I know, I was trapped in a black hole. I tried to escape, but I couldn't. It was like an endless cycle, guys. And once when few months has passed, I saw an opening and from there I came out, and I ended up coming straight to the tournament where you guys were all fighting. What? A black hole? That's very strange. Are you serious, Gohan? Are you telling us this whole time you were trapped in a black hole? Hmm, that still doesn't add up to me. From what I see, you were very close contact with Beerus's Hakai, and when he hakai you, you should have been erased. I guess I got very lucky. It missed me by a mile shot. Well, it's good to have you back now. As Dai Shigen looked at Weez and Mirrors and told them telepathically, Listen up guys, we need to investigate this matter. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're back, Gohan. After all, I did kill Beerus for you, but now that you're alive, I kind of feel bad killing him. But what matters is you're safe. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Well, Goku, let's leave. Let's begin our training. Alright, I forgot about that. I cannot wait. Goku has now left with Dai Shinkin to Zeno's world, and their training has begun. While that was happening, on planet Namek, a evil wizard managed to escape the Galactic Patrol prison, but he didn't leave alone, as he took some prisoner with him to be part of his army, and from there, they were all on planet Namek, trying to gather the Dragon Balls, which they succeeded, and from there, Moro has gone and used it, as he made a wish for all of his men to come to planet Namek, and once when they got there, he went and absorbed them, as he got a lot stronger. <laughs> that won't work! That monkey will still stop you one way or another! You're a fool, Frieza! You think they can stop me? In this form, I'm unstoppable! I don't care how strong those Saiyans are, I'll still end them! I heard about that big tournament they had with all the universes, and I also heard about that mortal Goku. He managed to win the tournament and prove to be the strongest. <sighs> Just hearing that makes me want to puke. That son Goku thinks he's all that, but I tell you, we can easily kill him if we try. I also heard from that person, Miris. He was saying something about the Galactic Patrol and about this tournament. Better safe than sorry. Well then, let's go to planet Earth. That's where they are, and until then, we could go and end them, otherwise they'll come and kill us. That's the plan. I took you out of the prison to join me, so you can give me all the intels you have on them, Frieza. Now let's go to planet Earth, and let's end them once and for all. Back on planet Earth, Piccolo and Gohan were doing a little bit of sparring, while Vegeta had just come back from his world after training with Whis, and now he was enjoying his time with his family, while Whis got the alert on his staff, and it was Miris, as he said. Master, there's something wrong. Remember Frieza? He was inside a galactic patrol. He managed to escape with another prisoner named Moro, and now he's coming to planet Earth. And as we speak, Moro has become back to his full self, and he also absorbed his man. He is far stronger than we imagined. Oh my, that is quite a pickle. As Whis went and he told everyone about Frieza and Moro. Once when they got the idea on who Moro is, Vegeta then said, Moro, huh? Well, just because Kakura is not here doesn't mean we're useless. We will all go and stop them and destroy them. I'll even Hakai them when I get the chance. Yeah, I'm with you, Vegeta. We need to destroy them once and for all once they come to planet Earth. That bastard Frieza. Why well, I'm not surprised that he's still up to shenanigans. Before anything can happen, Vegeta and everyone sense a huge power level coming towards Earth as they picked up that that was Moro and Frieza and from there they went and made their way towards them. Once when they got in contact with them, Vegeta then looked towards them and said, What are you guys doing here? Frieza, I'm glad you're here, because this time you're done. I'm going to wipe you out from existence. I'll tell you guys this once, leave this planet or else I'll kill you. 
<laughs> Bring it on, young Saiyan! I would just like to see you try! I'll go and absorb your power! As Gohan went and he charged towards Moro and he striked him. From there, Vegeta went and charged towards Frieza and he kicked him in his guts. While Piccolo came to aid Vegeta, at the same time, Brawly came next to Gohan. As both of them went and they powered up and they started to strike Moro. Moro flew meters away and said, You're good, Saiyan, but not good enough. Let's see you say that to me now. Broly has now transformed, while Gohan went and he powered up to his mystic power to full, and from there both of them went and they charged towards Moro, while Vegeta continued to go and strike Frieza in his face, and from there Frieza went and used his tail to hit Vegeta off, as he went and used his platinum form. Now monkey, I'm going to end you once and for all. <laughs> you're a fool Frieza, I know you're scared of Lord Beerus, but guess what, guess who took his place? Like I said to you before, Frieza, I'm going to erase you! As Vegeta used his full power and from there he went and rushed towards Frieza and striked him. Frieza tried to attack Vegeta but Vegeta was too strong for Frieza as he went and started to beat the shit out of him. While that was happening, back on Zeno's palace, Goku and Daishinkin were training hard as he managed to go and make Goku go beyond his breaking limit and he continued to grow in power. While they were training, Whis and Mirrors along with Supreme Kai has arrived as they all need to go and talk with Dai Shinken. Dai Shinken then told Goku to go inside the training room but he also saw that Old Kai was there and he had an idea to get Old Kai to go and train Goku and unlock his potential while he goes and talks with Mirrors and Whis. Goku then went inside the room and he began training with the Old Kai as he started to go and unleash Goku's potential and from there Dai Shinken looked towards him and said, What is up guys, what did you find? You're right. What you say might be true, father. I have a strange feeling about this. Well, we can't jump to conclusion unless we have some proof to back it up. Back on planet Earth, Vegeta then went and kneed Frieza in his back as he couldn't move and before he could do anything, Vegeta came right next to him and said, It's over for you, Frieza. Now stay dead. Hakai. Vegeta has gone and done his first Hakai as he went and erased Frieza from existence. At the same time, Broly and Moro going at it as they continued to attack from one another and from there Gohan went and powered up an attack and threw it towards Moro. But Moro tried to hold it off but from there Broly came and did the same as their attack continued to go and overpower Moro. He then tried everything he can to push their attack away but before he can do anything, Vegeta has come right behind him and said, Hakai! As he went and erased Moro from existence. Thanks to Vegeta's Hakai power, he managed to go and put an end towards Moro and Frieza. Vegeta at the other hand was completely fatigued of power as he didn't have enough strength to hold his own and from there he powered down to his base and he fell straight towards the ground while everyone was happy that the battle came to an end and they all decided to go to Boma's place to regroup. Are you serious Whis? This is some dangerous assumption you made. It's a big hunch father and I know you have the same feeling. That's why you got Goku to start training with you so you can get him prepared for the upcoming battle. That's true Whis, I wouldn't lie, I did start to have this very bad feeling about something that's going to happen very soon and if my prediction comes true, we are all doomed. I'm afraid we might need Lord Zeno to come and help us in this battle. Really father? Is he that dangerous? He really is Miris. Vegeta has now gone right back to his planet as he was very exhausted and from there someone has come to planet Vegeta as he looked towards him and said, huh? What are you doing here? And how did you come here? Well, in my investigation father, it would appear that he was the one behind all of this. And that's not all. He also has a psychic that's doing his job for him. But until I get 100% proof, I cannot say who it is. I think I might know who it is. It all makes sense now. That psychic. It's no one other than... What did I ask you? Why are you here? To end your pathetic life, Saiyan. Now die. It's no one other than Gohan. 
as Gohan went and he pierced right through Vegeta's chest. And from there, Vegeta started to bleed out as he was completely surprised. And when he tried to react, Gohan went and blasted him away as he died right there. Mission accomplished. One down, six more to go. All these barbarian Saiyans are going to die once and for all. You really went all out. That's good, now come with me. Master wants to see us. Let's go, Cumber. As Gohan has left and from there he said, I have arrived, my master. Took you long enough. Gohan, you will need to go with heart and get Zeno out of the picture. Cumber, you go with Fu and start the preparation. With the universe seed, I can do anything. Leave it to me. My next target will be the angels. Dai Shigen and everyone else noticed that Supreme Kai has died as they realized that Vegeta has died and from there they quickly went to planet Vegeta and when they got there they saw Vegeta's dead body as we said we were too late I'll get some reinforcements it looks like the battle's going to begin anytime soon now Goku this is all on you now you have to save the future back to when Beerus went and he Hakai'd Gohan Hakai father Please, look after Videl for me. Huh? Where am I? Why is everything so dark? Haven't I died? I saved your life, and cause of that, you owe me, Gohan. Who are you? And I won't ever do what you ask of me. You foolish boy. You think I need your permission? I can make you be my follower like this. After all, I am the Super Dragon Ball. Oh. My lord, I'm here to serve you. Very good. Now let's begin the preparation. I need you to go and end Son Goku's life and the rest of the Z fighters. Also, those two angels are with them. You won't be alone. You will have help. I'll use the Super Dragon Balls to give you the power you need to be the strongest. Oh, thank you, my lord. I can feel the power within me. I'm so strong. So what is the plan? What do you want me to do? Nothing. Do nothing until I say so. You will have to be the pure-hearted Gohan Saiyan that they all know. Pretend until I show you when and you go and assassinate them. Now go to the Tournament of Power. That's where they all are. Lord Zalama, do you think he has it in him to do it? Of course he does. After all, I wish to make him be that way. Well, you are the Super Dragon Ball, so I'm not surprised. Dai Shinkin and the rest of the angels has come to grip on having Gohan being evil. And from there, they also realized that Zalama can be released and he has gone rogue. They all came right back to Zeno's palace and from there, they said, from her staff, we can see what happened but to Vegeta. He has been stabbed brutally by Gohan, and he has also been killed right after. Once when they were finished watching what happened, Goku has now emerged out of the training room with old Kai, as he has finished his training and he managed to get his potential unlocked. From there, they both went to where Daishinkin was, as Miras looked at Goku and said, Wow, Goku! Your power! It has increased massively! I'm very impressed! I cannot even recognize you! <laughs> thanks, Miris! It's all thanks to Dai Shinken! If I didn't train with him for those four days inside the chamber, which is equivalent about, I guess, four years, I wouldn't have been this strong. And thanks to Old Kai of helping me unlock my potential, I am ready for anything! But hey! What happened to Supreme Kai? I don't see him! And why are you guys looking so serious? We need to talk, Goku. I don't know how to tell you this. Father, please, let me. After all, I was the one that raised him. Hmm? What happened, Miris? What are you guys talking about? Goku. Gohan. He's not Gohan anymore. He is something else. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Did something happen? Goku, I'm afraid your son has gone rogue. He has just killed Vegeta. What? What are you saying, Guiz? That cannot be right! Don't say that about Gohan! Goku, please, try to calm down. Maybe this will help. Look into the staff and you'll see what happened. As he saw, Gohan went and stabbed Vegeta and from there he went and killed him. 
How can this be? How could Gohan do this? We don't know the answer to that. And that is why we're trying to investigate on his intentions and why he has gone rogue. But if what we predicted is true, Goku, we are all doomed. What did you guys predict? Zalama, the Super Dragon Balls has somehow shown his true colors and now he is using his power to wipe us all. But then why doesn't he go on to do that? If he's a Super Dragon Ball, can he not kill us in an instant? You're right about that. But the reason why he can't... No, he cannot. That's why he is doing this. You see, the Super Dragon Balls are linked. And I made it happen just in case Zalama tried to go and show his true colors. And now he has managed to break the third seal. Once when all ten seals are broken, he will have full control. Full control? But then what do we do? How do we stop this, Zeno? Of course we cannot let this go on. Master, what's the plan? And my lord, can't you just go and erase them? I can, but I will not do that. It is not our matter right now. It is the matter of the mortals. Leave it to Goku. But if you fail, Goku, I will have to step in and erase him myself. But I believe in you, Goku. You can do this. Otherwise, no angel are being involved in this matter. I see. Okay then, I will handle everything myself. You're not alone, Goku. I have gone and got some reinforcements for you. As Goku saw, Hits and Jiren has arrived to Zeno's palace. They were all ready to go and put an end to this war. I'm sorry, Vegeta. You had to die. But I promise you, once this is all over, I'll bring you back. And Gohan, I'm going to find out why you became this way. Salama, he is most likely the reason why you became this way, Gohan. While they were making plans on how to end this war, Gohan has now come back to planet Earth as he went and he killed Dende, making the Dragon Balls decease from the Earth and then he went and started to kill the rest of the Z fighters. While Hart went to planet Namek and he went and killed all the Namekians that were there, which resulted in having no Dragon Balls left in this entire universe. Before anything could happen, Broly has been transferred to Zeno's palace as he had no idea what was going on but from there everyone told him everything that was happening. Jiren then looked towards Goku and said, I'm sorry Goku that you have to go through this. I'm glad to see you again Jiren. The last time we saw each other we were enemies. And now we are friends. Let's put an end to this war together. Okay guys, it's time we put an end to this. You guys are the most strongest fighters in this entire cosmo. Together we can end this war easily, but before we do, Let's begin some training. I'll train you guys as much as I can so you guys can have a huge boost to your power and from there you guys can go and put an end to this war once and for all. Whis and Mirrors has helped Daishinkin to go and train Broly Hit and Jiren along with Goku. While that was happening, back on planet Earth, Hart has now arrived as he managed to go and get the remaining universe seed and now he has gone and inserted it within his body, giving him such immense power. He then decided to go and start destroying each universes as he started from universe 1 and he made his way towards universe 7. This isn't good guys, they are destroying universes now. Those animals! We need to put an end to them now, let's go! Goku and everyone has left Zeno's palace as they have all come to planet earth. Upon their arrival, Cumber has saw them and said, Looks like they're here. This needs to stop. I won't let you destroy any more universes. Is that so? And tell me, what could a lonely barbarian like you do? Gohan, how dare you call your father a barbarian? I'll be the one to be asking questions, Goku. You came here to your own death. Killing Vegeta, Piccolo and the rest had an amazing feeling. I wonder how good it'll feel when I kill you. Gohan, you asked for it. Bring it on. <laughs> Goku has now transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct as he went and he charged towards Gohan and he striked him in his face and from there their battle has begun. Kumber went and he tried to kick Goku but before he can, Jiren has come out of nowhere as he decked him right in his face and said, you're not going anywhere near him, you are dealing with me. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, let's see what you got Baldi.
Cucumber then went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan God as his endurance battle has begun while Broly went and he screamed. Broly has transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan God as he rushed towards Hearts and he began to attack him. Hearts went and used the power of the Universe Seed and he tried to hit Broly but Broly went and dodged his attack while Hit went and he flew towards Fu and he started to battle with Fu. Fu went and tried to use his full power towards Hit as he looked towards him and said, I'm gonna steal your time skipping power. I would love to see you try that. Hit then went and rushed towards Fu as he striked him in his face and before he knows it, he sealed him inside a time prison, causing him to be completely paralyzed and that's when Hit used against his advantage and he went and attacked Fu as he got hit badly and he died right there. But using the time prison has drained hits of his power. While Cumber and Jaren were going at it, Cumber was able to push Jaren around using 100% of his base and he started to go and overpower Cumber but before he did, Cumber tried to go and break his arm. Jaren then went and brushed him off and he started to beat the shit out of Cumber. You're good, but the last time you'll get to see my full power will be this time. Now it's time for me to go and end you! Cumber has gone and he transformed to a Super Saiyan Blue. Bring it on! Broly and Hart were going at it as Hart went and he tried to punch Broly but he saw that each time he went and attacked Broly, it wouldn't phase him as Broly's power continued to grow and from there he went and powered up his fist and he started to beat the shit out of Hart. He then went and knocked him towards the ground. Before Hart can react, Broly went and powered up an eraser cannon strong enough to destroy the galaxy but he went and aimed it towards Hart head on as it hit him and he fell right to the ground and he died. Goku and Gohan were going at it. Gohan, what made you this way? Why did you have to go rogue? I'm here to make my master happy and make sure he always prevail. Who is your master? Is it Zalama? Does he even exist? Quiet you foolish Saiyan, it's time I use my power to kill you. Gohan has gone and used his true power. Thanks to the power of the Super Dragon Balls, he was able to obtain such power that no one else had. Goku then went and he pushed his power beyond his limit as he has gone and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed to his beyond Master Ultra Instinct. After training with Dai Shinken, he was able to go and push beyond his limit and he has now transformed to his beyond ultra instinct. Goku then went and rushed towards Gohan as he punched him and Gohan did the same and both of their power clashed with one another as they continued to go at it. At the same time, Jaren and Cumber's battle was coming close to an end. As Cumber went and he started to overpower Jaren and said, Now I remember who you are. You are that little toddler that survived from our planet. The last time I was there, I went and killed your people from Universe 11. You are the one that killed them? Not only that, I went and beheaded them. <laughs> Hearing that got Jaren very angry as he went and screamed. Jaren has now used his limit breaker yet again as he went towards Cumber and decked him in his face causing him to be sent flying meters away. Before he can react, he then got up but he saw that Jaren was right in front of him as he went and kicked him down and from there he picked Cumber up and kneed him in his spine causing him to not be able to move and Jaren then said, It's over. This is for my family. Jaren went and powered up in a massive attack and threw it towards Cumber as it pierced towards his stomach and he died right there. 
While this was happening, Goku and Gohan were going at it, as they were both landing blow to blow but from there Goku's beyond master ultra instinct started to go and kick it up a notch, as he went and started to beat the shit out of Gohan. He then went and decked him in his face non-stop. Gohan tried to go and retaliate, but Goku wouldn't allow him, as he went and took him by his face and kneed him right in his jaw. Gohan was in pain, but before he can do anything, Jiren has come out of nowhere, as he went and he blasted Gohan right from the back, and he went towards Goku, but Goku went and striked him towards the ground. Before they can go and make the next move, they saw that the entire universe started to shake, as someone has appeared and said, How pathetic! Here I thought Gohan you will be strong enough to end your own father. Huh? Who is this? He is here. I can sense that my lord. <laughs> Foolish mortal. How dare you come right in front of me. I will end your life. This guy's power is crazy. Goku, I think he might be what Daishikin said. That's right, children. I am Lord Salama. Looks like Salama is officially back. What puzzles me, my lord, is... Why does he want to do all of this? He's holding a grudge on the past Omni Kings. Goku, please be careful. Hmm. What are you up to, Miris? Hmm. <laughs> Nothing. I'm just a little concerned from Goku, that's all. Zalama? What are you? Are you actually the Super Dragon Ball? That's me. And I know who you are, son Goku. I have been watching you ever since you were born. A mortal born with the divine energy. What do you want? Why are you doing all of this? And what did you do to Gohan? I made him my pet. And why you ask? It's simple you mortal. You mortals need to know your place. The Omni King must pay. He sealed me into that dragon and ever since I created this plan. And he tried to go and have half the power of what I created which was the Super Dragon Balls. But now that I'm free, I will go and annihilate everyone, anyone that comes in my way. The only thing that's stopping me, it's you, Goku. Me? You are the one, the last seal that needs to break. Once when you die, I will be able to use my power to its fullest extent. That is enough. I have heard all I need to know. It's time we end you. <laughs> You picked a fight with the wrong person. We will make sure we put an end to you. No matter what, whatever the cost is, we will end you. Broly has gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue as they stared at Zalama and from there their battle has begun. Goku went and he rushed towards Zalama as he striked him in his face but Zalama wasn't even phased by his fist as he went and took Goku and kneed him right in the stomach. From there Jiren came right behind him as he went and he decked him while Hits went and used his elbow on his face, causing him to be sent flying towards Broly. While Broly went and powered up his fist and he landed a blow right towards Zalama as it hit him and he got sent flying towards the ground. He then got up and said, Is that all you got, you mortals? No way! Our attack didn't even phase him! This guy is the real deal! How pathetic! Now it's time I end you! Before he can finish his sentence, he got hit by a blast as he got very angry and when he turned around he heard, How many times have I told you Kakarot that if there's anyone that's gonna end your life, it's going to be me? Vegeta? How? I saw you die! I don't know myself Kakarot, it was like if death was some type of dream and now I have finally woken up. I guess it's all thanks to Dai Shinkin, he used his staff to bring me back and your son that bastard. Knowing that he's under Zalama's control, I am gonna let it slide, otherwise I would've killed him. Vegeta, surprised to see you alive. Is that all you're going to say? <laughs> you are going to see what it means to feel death. As Vegeta went and he rushed towards Zalama and he begun to attack him. Zalama went and decked Vegeta as he landed right next to Goku. 
He then went and surrounded his body with Hakai Fist as he began to go and hit Salama. With each blow, Vegeta was able to go and erase anything he touched with his fist. And from there, Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Jiren, and Hits all walked towards Zalama, as they're all in their full power and they said, It's time we end this Zalama, bring it on! Everyone went and they powered up as they rushed towards Zalama and they began to attack him. Zalama went and he tried to brush them off but they all gained up on him and they started to beat the shit out of him. He then wanted to have control and said, It's time you feeble mortals know what it means to feel fear! You are up against a god, and I will show you what it means to fight me! Zalama went and he lift his hand, as all the energy that was inside Cumber, Gohan, Hearts, and even food came out of their body, and it became one giant ball, as he went and he absorbed that energy within himself. You see why you feeble mortals fear me? This is my full power! Do you sense that Dai Shinkin? It's surrounding the entire universe with that key! It's crazy to think of just how powerful he is. I'm afraid we won't be able to stop him ourselves. It is all up to you, my lord. Wait a minute. Where did Mirrors go? Oh man. I really hope he doesn't do anything stupid that will result in his demise. Now bow down and accept your fate! Never! I'll make sure to take you down! Before Goku can finish his sentence, Zalama came right next to him as he went and striked him in his face and he flew to out of space. Goku then came back with instant transmission, but Zalama was already there as he went and he kicked Goku towards the ground and started to beat the shit out of him. Vegeta, Jared, Broly, and Hit all went and they rushed towards Zalama as they all start to attack him as a group but they saw that with each landing blow they did towards him, it didn't even phase him and he said, How pathetic! Is that all you guys got? Come on! Here I thought that you'll make me have some type of bruise! He then went towards Vegeta as he grabbed Vegeta by his face and said, Stay down! As he blasted Vegeta right in his face. Hit, Broly and Jiren came towards Zalama as they all charged towards him head on but he went and did a flip as he couldn't hit him and from there he went and started to attack them. Zalama then went and used one of his attack as it went and hit Broly head on and he fell towards the ground. Hit tried to go and use his time prison yet again on Zalama but it didn't even phase him as Zalama lifted his hand in the air and he managed to break through the prison. He then went and pierced towards Hit's stomach causing him to puke out blood and he fell to the ground and passed out leaving only Jaren to be the one standing. I'll do whatever it takes to beat you. You wish, I'll kill you. Zalama went and he tried to stab Jaren, but he managed to miss him as Jaren went and took his fist. But before he can do anything, Zalama then went and moved his hand from Jaren and kicked him right in the stomach as he had trouble breathing and from there he went and picked him up and started to attack him non-stop. While Goku went and used 100% of his power and he rushed towards Zalama and he began to hit him non-stop from the back as he saw that it didn't work and said, What is this guy? He's like made out of steel! It's pointless Goku! You're done! Zalama then went and slammed Goku towards the rock as he started to beat the shit out of Goku. He then went and threw Goku towards the ground and from there he went and powered up an enormous attack to kill Goku off and said, You're done Goku! You had a good run? But it's time I break that seal and steal the power for myself. Zalama then went and threw the blast towards Goku. Goku got up as he was ready to go and catch the blast. But before he can, he saw that someone has arrived as he has come right in front of the blast and he dispersed it. Upon seeing who it is, he then saw that it was no one other than Mears. As Mears looked towards Goku and said, I'm sorry Goku, I came late. Mears? What are you doing here? And why did you come? Didn't Zeno say you're not allowed to be participating inside this battle? Goku, you're just a baby when I first found you. I raised you. I saw you do your first crawl, and from there I saw you fly. You really think I'll just sit back and let you die? No way, Goku. I raised you like if you were my son, and now it's time for a father to protect his son. I love this universe very much, 
and I won't let this monster hurt it. Mirs then went and used his true power, as he went and rushed towards Zalama and he striked him. Once when he hit Zalama, Zalama then went and brushed him off and said, Looks like a little weakling kitty cat angel wants a piece of this. I'll end you myself before you can do anything. I see. It would appear Mirs has failed to listen. He has now gone and entered a battle. How sad. Unfortunately for him, he will cease to exist any minute now. As Mirs and Zalama were going at it, Zalama went and he started to overpower Mirs. As Mirs saw that he was slipping off and from there he wanted to go and have the upper hand so he went and used 100% of his angel power. He then went and strike Zalama right in the face as he flew towards the rock. Once when he got up he then said, Now we're talking. Let's see what he can do Mirus. As Zalama went and he screamed, he powered up to 40% of his power. He then went and charged towards Mirus and he started to hit him in his face while Mirus went and did the same and both of the power clashed with one another. As they were going at it, from there Zalama began to laugh and said, <laughs> You want to know something? I've been only using 40%. What? It can't be. Let me end this. Before Mirs knows it, Zalma went and he pierced right through his stomach as he began to bleed from his mouth and from there Mirs went and summoned his staff and smashed it right on Zalma's face. Zalma was in pain but from there Goku noticed that Mirs was starting to fade away due to the fact that he was using 100% of his power. He is now suffering the consequence of using his full power. Goku then said to Mirus, Mirus, stop this now! Goku, you'll need to see this. This is the only way for you to use your full potential power. Once when you use it, you will have even more power than all of us Angel put together. That is the self instinct. Mirus, please don't! Goodbye, Goku. You were the one son anyone can wish to have, and I'm proud to call you my son. And from there, Zalama went and threw attack towards Mirus as it hit him head on and from there his entire body faded away as Mirus has ceased to exist in this multiverse. Upon seeing that, Goku began to cry as he couldn't control his emotion on losing Mirus, who was his mentor and like his father, and from there he went and lost it as he began to go and scream. After seeing the death of Mirus and having his potential unlocked, Goku has now fully done it as he has gone and reached a new power which is known as Self Instinct. This is Self Instinct Goku. It would appear that Goku has finally did it. I want to go and see it myself. I'm coming right behind you father. Unfortunately for Mirus, if it wasn't for his sacrifice, Goku would never have achieved this power. What? What is this form? What did you do? You have killed the one thing I could call a father. And for that, I will annihilate you. <laughs> Let's see what he can do. Before he can finish his sentence, Goku went and grabbed him by his face as he threw him towards the ground and he began to scrape it. Zalama couldn't break free as Goku went and threw him in the air and he got sent flying out of space, causing him to go and land in a remote planet. Goku then came right next to him as he went and hit him in his chest and he got sent flying out of space again. Zalama was very worried and angry on what was happening as he didn't know what to do and from there he saw that Goku has appeared right next to him and went and started to deck him in his face non-stop. Goku then went and started to beat the shit out of Zalama as he couldn't stand a chance against Goku and from there Zalama went and tried to pierce through Goku's stomach but he couldn't as he saw that Goku's body was impenetrable. Goku then said, What's the matter? Scared already I see. How? 
How do you have this much power? It doesn't make sense! Oh, this is just another power up for my weakling mortal. But what you did to my father, I'll never forgive you, Zalama! Now die! Before Zalama knows it, Goku was super fast as he came right in front of him, and he lifted one hand, and when he striked it down, Zalama got hit 1000 times non-stop by Goku. Goku then went and punched him in his face, causing him to be sent flying right back to planet Earth, and before he can land, Goku went and powered up in a new attack called the Instinct Bomb, as he went and hit it towards Zalama, and his entire body exploded. Before dying, he said, It's no wonder, I feared you the most. And he died right there. Goku has now saved the day, as Zalama didn't stand a chance against his new self-instinct power, and he managed to go and end him once and for all. Before Goku knows it, the Super Dragon Ball has appeared right in front of him, as he came right back to his normal sense, and he was no longer Zalama. He was just a Super Dragon that can grant any wish you ask. Goku then saw that Gohan has awakened, as he has come right next to Goku and said, Father, where can I express how sorry I am? I really had no idea what happened. Goku went and hugged Gohan as he told him, It's okay son, I don't blame you at all. You weren't yourself, you were controlled by Zalama, but I managed to go and end him. Thank you father. Goku then went and used the Super Dragon Balls as he wished for everyone that died by the hands of Zalama and his minions to come right back causing Dende and the rest of the Z Fighters to be alive again, along with Miris. Once when he made the wish, Daishiken has appeared right next to Goku and said, You did it Goku, call me very impressed. I cannot believe just how powerful your self-instinct power is. If anything, I don't think I'll stand any chance against you inside that power. <laughs> Thanks Daishiken, but I know you're just being nice. No, I'm serious, you are very strong. Wow, so I'm stronger than you now? It would appear so, Goku. We are proud of you. You did it. Goku then saw that Mirrors has returned, as he got very happy seeing Mirrors, and from there he went and hugged him, as Mirrors was very proud of Goku for going and putting an end to words Zalama. Zeno has appeared and said, I am so amazed with you, Goku. You did it. How would you like to be the next Omni King? Oh, uh, no, no, thank you, Zenny. I don't want to be no Omni King. I'm happy being just an Earthling. I just want to go right back home and be with my family. Okay Goku, whenever you're ready, the offer still stands. Zeno and the angels has thanked Goku, as they left right back to their palace and from there Goku went and took everyone, and he instant transmission them right back to planet earth, as they were all happy that they finally went and put an end towards this war. Couple of weeks has passed, as Goku was relaxing with his family while everyone was there chilling with one another and from there he went and he began to sense a very strong power level coming far in the east. Once when he got there he then saw. My name is Destroyer Goku. I'm known as the Destroyer King and I gotta say you are impressive. I would love to invite you to an event. Huh? What are you talking about? What event? First I want to see your power. Goku has transformed right into his self instinct. And from there he said, what is next? Now let's see how strong we are. He then went and hit Goku, as Goku got up and hit him back and from there they're going at it. Destroyer King then stopped and said to Goku, why don't you come and join a tournament? We are holding a tournament with all the universes, Goku to come and fight us. Oh that sounds interesting, I'd love to be part of that. Sounds like a lot of fun fighting with different Gokus from different universes. And. Our plan is to all work together, so we can take down the Omni King. Is he that powerful? He is beyond powerful of what we can comprehend. That's what I heard though. Let's see how he is when we fight him for real. Thank you very much for watching and supporting this series. I really appreciate all those fans who stuck by and continue supporting and watching this series and loving it. As this is what I believe what would have happened, Goku was born with God Key. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans, so you'll be the first to know when the next episode of my next what if comes out, and if you haven't joined my discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it, so you can become one of the first Z fighters and get to know when the next what if comes out. If you're not a subscriber of mine, click that subscribe button and the bell, so you'll be the first to know when the next episode of any what if comes out. I am GokuT23, have an insane day my Z fans.